Hey everybody, welcome to Board Game Heaven. My name is Raymond, and today I've got a very special episode uh, of Board Game Heaven because we're going to play Rogue Angels Legacy of the Burning Suns on Tabletop Simulator together with the designer, Emil Larsen. Uh, hey Emil, you're uh, over there. <laughs> hey, I'm there. Yeah. Hey. Good to be here. Yes, thank you for joining us. Uh, so we've got the game all set up on Tabletop Simulator, and people can also try out the game themselves uh, on Tabletop Simulator. It's freely available, uh, so you can uh, try it out. Uh, the rules are also available online if you want to give that a, a read-through. So, hey, uh, welcome in, uh, people. Uh, we've got a live chat here, so people can ask questions about the game uh, if they have any. Um, so welcome in Zenith Dante, Leo Borg, and uh, yeah, we'll see who else uh, gets in here. Hopefully a few people from the Kickstarter as well. So let's start a little bit before we start playing uh, about the Kickstarter, because uh, sadly you had to cancel the first attempt uh, for the Kickstarter. So uh, can you tell us a little bit yeah. about that and what the plans are currently? Yeah. Um, I, I had to cancel because, uh, of course, Kickstarter works in, in mysterious ways, and and uh, Thank you for the sub. when you do not get the momentum for the first uh, three uh, three days, mm -hmm. there is uh, little to do uh, in order to regain that uh, momentum. Um, yeah, true. Unless you like, there are very few Kickstarters who've managed to to turn it around, and and. Uh, Funding is no longer something you do along the process of uh, getting to the end of the Kickstarter. It's something you do as a formality in the beginning. Uh, so that has a huge impact. Yes. And uh, uh, yeah, in, in general, there were many smaller mistakes, which kind of accumulated to just too, too many uh, people who probably passed on it. Uh, so, and, and passed on it due to kind of the value proposition and uh, maybe also that they could not see exactly what was the, uh, um, some of the, the real selling points of the game, which comes through if you go to, to the reviews and stuff like the reviews and stuff, but there's also a way to, to go there, right? And then start watching reviews. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah. So all in all, yeah, that was uh, that was the decision, and it, it's fine. Uh, I mean, that that's just how it is. Um, and I will re relaunch within the next half year. Don't know exactly when, and there are many things uh, to factor in. But within the next half year, I have relaunched for sure. All right, all right, that's good news because you know you've put a lot of time and effort and work into the game already and um, it, it's not entirely finished but there's a lot already there that people can uh, can experience here on tabletop simulator and uh, there's a lot of story mm -hmm. written already there's a lot of artwork done and so far i think it looks uh, pretty good very very good actually and um, i've played this with you already a couple of times we played through two scenarios i had a great time and mm -hmm. i really do think that this game deserves a lot more attention. Um, I think it can certainly be measured with games such as Gloomhaven, for example, or Descent, uh, because it's just a lot of fun. It's not as difficult as Gloomhaven. The rules are very easy, and uh, it does have the tactical combat. It has the cards. Well, you'll see all of that as we play. So uh, yeah, sure. Let's get started here. I'll. Um, I've picked. A yep. color here. I picked yellow, <laughs> so uh, I'm on mm -hmm. the uh, on the side here, <laughs> on the right mm -hmm. side of the screen, and you, Emil, are on the left side. Says Sun Tzu Games there, uh, upside down, because <laughs> we're on this side of the table. So what we see here uh, is the board, which is basically a book. It's an A3 book, I believe, with a with a ring, so you can flip over the pages, and every page is a map. Mm -hmm. And there is a separate yeah. book as well with the campaign, with the entire narrative and the branching story. So that is what you will be playing through and your decisions uh, and even you know, successes and failures in the game will determine 
which path you are going to follow. So also, that is pretty cool. Yep. Um, there are also a lot of characters. I'll see if I can uh, show that a bit. Let's see. It's been a while since I've uh, used Tabletop Simulator, actually. <laughs> well, I can turn this. Yeah. All right. And then we can see here at the head of the table, uh, we got some uh, extra characters. I'll see if I can zoom in a bit like that. There we go. It's a bit choppy on my end. Uh, apologies for that. I think my computer is uh, due to a replacement. <laughs> it's it's getting <laughs> slow these days. But anyway, we've got uh, plenty of characters. There are going to be, I believe, 20 different player characters that people can choose yep. from, right? So we have a couple of That here. is correct, yeah. So, oh, it's uh, underneath. Oh, let me just pick this one then, for example. So here we have a character sheet with... Uh, you know, a little bit of a bio of that character. Uh, there's a portrait there, and they all have their different uh, abilities and specialties that they can use, uh, different attributes, and um, they all have their own standee, of course, and their own deck of cards, because you're playing your character with a deck of cards, and those cards determine your actions. And, uh, <coughs> we'll see that as we play as yep. well. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so there's a lot to explore. There are uh, 12 characters in the tabletop simulator version. There will be more. And um, a mm -hmm. couple of scenarios that you can yeah. choose from as well. All right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm planning to at least go two, three more uh, missions in, in terms of what should be available to for the next uh, campaign. And uh, also, hopefully, one of the... Uh, personal stories, at least a mission of that, because the personal story is more than just a mission, but have yeah. one of the missions to kind of showcase people just how deep the rabbit hole can go, uh, or at least some of it, because right. yeah, it is a it's very a, deep. It's hole. a big game, so. yes. <laughs> There's a lot of story. So here you can see, for example, I'll zoom in on the map a bit. This is just one of the maps you can see it has a grid, different uh, rooms that you can enter, and you set that up according to the uh, campaign book over here on the left. So this is just, of course, a prototype, uh, digital. So, um, Emil, uh, where were we? <laughs> really cool artwork. Well, I remember the last one we did, I kind of screwed up our... <laughs> initial part of the mission but we all made it out alive we did eventually we did <laughs> uh so that was mission two so if you want to pick up from there we have of course mission three otherwise you're also very welcome to move a bit forward then i can just accumulate what would be our Let's personality see. to some extent this was after mission one so i still have to go we, we played quite a bit <laughs> this was mission two Yes, all right. Yep, there's plenty of pages, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's it's quite interesting that we can already play so much of uh, the game. Um, I think at the end of our last playthrough, we had a civilian or an engineer that we decided to let go. Uh, we were in a, mm. in, a, in a hostile station yep. or something. And uh, it turned out that that person uh, betrayed us, after all. <laughs> and that's the last thing I remember, I think. So I'm not sure exactly mm -hmm. where we yeah. left off. So we just, uh, you can just go to the beginning of the next mission. We have finished off that part, yeah. Yes, which, which number is that? Do you know? Is that C3? C3, all right. Yeah, would let's, be the... Let's do A. <clears throat> The different branching stories. Let's see, is this it? C2B. So, yeah, as you can see. I need to get way further. Yeah, yeah okay. There's also always the, the <laughs> astromat and all that stuff. So, there's. Uh, is this, this is C3. Yeah, tow to space. Yeah. There we are. So, this is our current mission. Let me see if I can uh, move that into screen a bit. I'll have to move the table a bit to the right. And then just uh, there, now we can all read this. All right, so Umbracious <clears throat> is an NPC who is in contact with us uh, as we, 
you know, travel through the story. And Umbracious is with us right now, and he's telling us, he's briefing us on the new mission. So he says, our little data raid on the refueling station revealed the locations of several science facilities on the planet Abaddon. Unfortunately, they are protected by an orbital defense platform. We'll need to disable the radar system in order to slip through undetected. As this ship doesn't have a cloaking device, we'll have to be creative. There are two abandoned pirate tugboats in lunar orbit that will allow us to infiltrate the platform. Disguise yourself as mechanics, and you should be able to make your way to the radar room unnoticed. So we've got a stealth mission here. Once there, you'll need two teams, one to create a diversion and lure the guards away, and one to break in and disable the radar. So a tech-savvy infiltration team and some heavy hitters for the diversion crew. Choose wisely. So now the commander, one of the players is always a commander, and they must divide your team into two teams that will deploy it separately. So now we have to decide who will be on team one and two, and then we can continue. So, uh, welcome in the chatters, welcome in people, uh, good to see you, uh, we're just starting a new mission. So, uh, Emil, what do you say, um, how shall we split up the team? <clears throat> well, um, <laughs> no, I, I think it's better that you do that. Okay, I mean, okay. I, I know the solution to, or at least the potential solution. Um, so you you better pick uh, you know how we should we should progress. Do right. uh, you want to take the same characters as we did previously, um, or sure? And uh, if if that is possible, uh, if we can split up the team with one character on each team, or do we have to? Yes. Yeah, yeah that is that is possible. That... Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. That would be very possible. So I can just go and. Uh, check which characters we we played last time yeah uh i think my here. characters ah, okay uh, that was tarira and Sigun. yeah i think my character is pretty good with uh I doing see. battle so i i think i could be the uh the brawn here <laughs> and perhaps your character can be the brains this time so you know, feel free okay. to, to pick then another will... character Yeah, I can t I can take sick and oh, I can uh, I could go with uh, yeah, most of them have some sort of uh, abilities in that mm, that area. Mm -hmm. I think um, I could I could take hero. Um, uh, He's quite versatile. Well. All right, so. So we're just picking characters now. Normally, you'd pick a character yeah. at the start of a campaign and just play through that campaign with that character because you can upgrade your character. Your character will get extra um, attribute points and uh, things you can do more cards to your deck so you will have more abilities. There you go. So here, for example, uh, let me see. There we are. I'm the yellow hand. <laughs> so, oh, the, well, the portrait is hidden here, yep. but this is hero... Uh, Matsuo and he's got uh, several icons that you can see here on the uh, hero board. He has one skill right now which is no one left behind. When you are more than two spaces away from the nearest ally you have plus two to your movement so you, uh, uh, and you can add that movement to your basic actions. Uh, we have the yellow icons which are basically re-rolls. That's I think that's like concentration or something like that. Um, Yep. Uh, and you can uh, spend one to re-roll a number of dice. We've got shields, which basically protect us from harm until they are out. Uh, if there are no more shields left, you will take damage. And on the left, the four colors that you can see are basically four attributes that every character has. And you start out with one um, colored in the square. As you will notice, the green uh, square here has a, uh, a black spot in the middle. That means that this character has uh, one token of that color that they can spend. Later as you progress you can color in more of those white lines and you can sometimes pick colors or advance your <coughs> most used attribute. All of that will be explained when uh, as we play. So basically that is how and you upgrade since your since character. 
Yes. Since we are on mission three, we would already have colored one of our own choice. Yes. Which true. happens in the end of mission two. So, uh, you know, you can uh, when you pick your character, you can uh, you can color one that, that you you want mm -hmm. for that character. And I will do the same for hero. Okay. Just yes. check where my character is. I think she's on the other side over there. Uh, let's see. I had the one with the blade. Was it <clears> this? <throat> Let me just quick. Yes, Sijin. All right. Perhaps you can give me a little hand <clears throat> with setting that up. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, these are the cards, so I'll, I'll, I'll sure. drag the uh, cards Sijin, to my hand. Yeah. We'll just keep it there. Whoop. Yeah, yeah, it ah, is a bit much. of my, a. My computer is having a little bit of. Uh... I actually, I can, I can even, can I, can I deal them? Yeah, I can deal them to you. You're yellow, right? Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> so now sure? I have a hand of cards. Yeah. See, that's full service. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Zenith Dante says, "I'm a sucker for story-driven tabletop games." Yes, you're in the right place, Zenith. This is absolutely a game that I'm very excited about. It has a huge. Uh, story-driven campaign uh, with branching paths. Uh, there are currently uh, 70 different missions and as you play through the game you'll play about 40 of those and others you might explore if you play through the game a second time. So yeah, very excited about that. <laughs> so right, as you can see on my character sheet here, I've already colored in last time I believe. Um, I have the red and the yellow uh, first bit colored in. So that means I also get those tokens. So I have a red token right here yep. and a yellow token right there underneath it. We also have tracking tokens basically here. So I have this token that keeps track of the yellow track. And what was that called again? What was the actual term? Uh, the focus here? Focus, right. Okay. So that's focus. This so is... yeah, you spend spend focus to re-roll dice. Yeah. Yes. And next to that is the shields, and uh, the yellow of the white uh, parts on the right. Is that your wounds, or was that something else? These are the scars that scars. are not. They are not related to the gameplay mechanics of when you are dealt damage. The scars are related to the campaign overall campaign as you can certain missions when you fail those you will get scars right. so any mission that you know basically ends out in a shootout or an explosion or whatever which most missions to some extent will because you need a you know some climactic ending mm -hmm. um, then they will uh, you know involve scars if you uh, do not make it out all right cool cool okay so uh, I'll explain a bit about uh, playing cards. So we have all these cards and you'll notice that some of these cards also have the four colors and the bottom will all of them have. Some of them are empty, some of them have text. So for example, uh, this card over here has a plus one uh, damage or plus one wound on the red icon and a minus one time on the blue icon. So that means this card already has a couple of those uh, elements added. But as you go through the game, you will also earn upgrades to your skills because your cards are your skills and you can earn stickers that you can stick onto your cards, uh, filling in any other of these slots that don't have any uh, pluses or minuses on them yet. So that makes your abilities better as you go. So that is a little bit of a legacy part there. And uh, that's per character. So, you know, even after, you, after you've played through the entire game with a character and you've built on that character and the, the cards have stickers and everything, you can still, of course, pick a new character and play through the entire game again, go on different branches, you know, the story will be different. So there's a whole lot of replayability here. So I personally like that a lot. It's, it's legacy, so some people have a little bit of a... A trouble with legacy games that they don't want to permanently alter their games but there's just so much gameplay here that the re the replayability won't get less if you don't use the legacy bit you know because after you've played all of this i think <laughs> you'll be years 
uh, later, right? Before you've explored everything. And I think by then people yeah. will probably yeah. have their shelves full of <laughs> the next games they want to play. So uh, that's pretty cool. It's, yeah. it's basically the same as Gloomhaven does as well, right? In yeah. Gloomhaven you also have the map and, and stuff that uh, changes. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I just wanted to contain everything that has to do with legacy is contained within one character. Exactly. So there's no other permanent changes to anything else. So you don't have to deal with, you know, making sure that uh, there are special rules for either removing legacy elements or to play around certain ele uh, uh, legacy elements. So it's all just contained in a character so you know that character once you've spent that character you know that's part of the game and, exactly. yeah. and you also have uh packs available which you also had on the kickstarter that people can buy that have all 20 characters mm. basically a refresh pack untouched yeah. so if you've played through the game and you've changed all of your <clears> characters <throat> and upgraded them all and you want to have a fresh start you can have that or if you know people mm. want to sell their game yeah. after they've done with it you can just take out the altered characters put in the the refresh back and have a completely new game so there is that option too yeah. all right yeah i will definitely pursue that that the refill package is a, a resettable option so that a particular package of these 20 characters will be exactly the same as as the others, it will just be possible to use dry erase, and oh. also um, these stickers will, you know, you can remove them. Like vinyl, the back, right? vinyl stickers. So that will be kind of like, yeah. So because I, I still, my vision is that this has to have an everlasting impact on your gaming experience, and therefore it's significant that it is permanent when it comes to the emotional stake. Uh, in the game mm -hmm. uh, sure. but for those who want to reset their characters it's also all good and then they can get this package in cool and all right be fine so sweet all right so now uh, another thing you can yeah. notice on my character board is another thing you can do with stickers i already had the um assassin doctrine at the top there uh, which says when you destroy an enemy you gain one focus which is pretty cool I also have a second skill, which is added, which was also something I unlocked, if you will. Overwritten protocol, you cannot perform the action concentrate. So that's something that has, you know, changed my character. So that also happens. You, you get stickers and you put them on your character board and stuff that changes. All right. Um, well, let's just uh, put our characters on the board. So where yeah. do we deploy Team 1 and Team 2? First, you, uh, we need to figure out here, because we still have, uh, from the, the first page of the campaign, you have to make right. a decision. Uh, so you, as the commander, you just get the command token, so that now that is solidified. Um, you have to decide who should be the tech team, who should be the combat team. And uh, then you also have to, once that is decided, you have to decide, and we can debate this, and we, we will vote on the, the, the question Umbracious have. Since we're two and you break ties, you will, of course, be the one who decide in the end what we do. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> All right. So, yeah, let's let's read. We uh, I, I will say, of course, uh, team one, the tech, that's going to be you. And team two, combat, that's going to be my character. Sitchin. So, right. Umbracious sure. tells us, obviously, we won't be much uh, of much help aboard the ship. But my pilot can perform a few maneuvers in the distance. This may lure some of the Hellfire personnel away in their fighters. It could, however, also delay your pickup, as you won't get very far in those tugboats if a firefight starts. I think it'll be wise to consider this among your team. When you're ready, I suggest we get moving. So, we have another choice. Do you want the pilot to lure away some of the Hellfire personnel? Yes or no? <laughs> so, already... A big choice to make um so yeah if if they lure them away you know that might make uh, our mission easier uh on the other hand like he says if if it comes to uh, a, a gunfight then we might be in trouble with our tugboats so 
I, I have no idea of knowing what's gonna happen, so I'm just I'm gonna gamble and say let's let's have them lure away <laughs> with uh, you know some some maneuvering, have them lure them away. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I I would vote uh, no on that. Okay. So, but that's uh, still you who uh, decide. So. All right. Interesting. Uh, because you break the ties, so exactly. therefore we go with yes. Yes, yeah, so that is also a mechanism That is in the important game. to remember for the next page, yeah. Okay, so because one of the players is the commander, <laughs> gets the commander tokens, that person's vote, he's the tiebreaker, basically. So, uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> and uh, welcome in Stigin Abyss, uh, welcome to the stream. So this is Rogue Angels, as you can see, and we're just about... So I now I fill up uh, the page, we're about to start a new mission. So, uh, once we have voted, continue to C3, Mission Brief, Update 1. All right, so I, I guess I flip the page. All right. Uh, I'll go to the right a little bit more. There we go. So, um, action one or two. Those who voted yes, and I voted yes, paints one personality mark in cautious and receives a token immediately. So I get a yellow cautious token. See there, this is where you yeah. change your character mm -hmm. boards. And those who voted no, they get one personality mark in dominating and you get a red token immediately. So that's what Emil is coloring in now. Uh, could you do mine as well, please? <laughs> it's already done. Oh, it's already done. Fantastic, no. fantastic. <laughs> and I'll continue reading. All right, so the end result is yes, because I'm the commander. <laughs> and Umbrage says, very well, commander. I'll order Camriel to get close and try to lure away some of their personnel. Be sure to coordinate your escape so you can hold your ground as long as you can. And be aware, the Hellfires have been known to deploy special changeling commando groups called Night Beans on high-value jobs. It seems only logical that there might be a few such squads operating from a station like this. These are valuable customers they're protecting after all. Stay sharp. All right, then we're going to go to mission C3A. Otherwise, we'd go to C3B, but we won't be doing that now. So, okay, there we go. And that is basically when you set up the game. So here you see yep. the map. So we, uh, we have to change the boards to, to that map. And uh, let's see, that's, that's it, yeah. There we go. And Emil's placing the doors as indicated on the map. And as you can see, there are two yep. team spaces. So we have a, a left team and a right team. And it will probably tell us where the tech team and the, uh, the brawn team will go. And there are also the R and the Y uh, spots, which means red and yellow. And those are enemies. So uh, we will engage those. And there's a couple of locked doors as well, I guess. Uh, some, uh, some doors there. And the red things are some kind of canisters. And the game will also come with standees for certain furniture that you need to have, such as these doors and, and these red canisters that you see on the board right now. And you'll get lots of tokens to put on the board. And the game does have quite a few tokens, but most of them are indicators right to indicate what's on the map mm -hmm. or to keep track of things statuses on your character board so there's not a whole lot of you know difficult token handling and management it's, it's not a fiddly kind of game no fortunately which i i'm trying i'm trying my best to keep it as less <laughs> as fiddle as possible exactly yes no, yeah. i mean it's it's uh it, it's just like I, I have two kids uh, myself, right? And I know that, you know, when you have to bring a game to the table and all that stuff, it's just yes. you need to be able to pack it away quickly and you need to set it up quickly so you can get going and, you know, have the fun that needs exactly. to be yeah. that night. So, yeah. Indeed, because that is so, one of the things I... that often keeps a game from getting brought to the table. If there's a whole lot of mm -hmm. things you need to set up and, and fiddling is... <clears throat> then you know you're half an hour in and you're not playing yet and 
this is a lot faster. Now we're you taking know. a lot of time because we're chatting and we're explaining the game. But this, you can set this yeah, yeah, up in yeah. five minutes and I you're mean, done. It, you only have one mouse, so, I yeah, mean... True. <laughs> It, it and is it's just digital. More too. difficult in tabletop simulator than yeah. when you do it physically. So yeah, exactly, you just grab. Things. Okay, but it's uh, set up. I've put uh, 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 two enemies per red and yellow here. So mm -hmm. that's the one red, one and red two, and yellow one and yellow two. Yes. Two. Exactly. So since we're only two players, and you can decide, uh, we have those two team spots. So you decide who should be in what team spot. All so, right. Um, did the did the game specify um, where the tech team should go? Because uh, our our mission is to no. uh, can you tell us the mission again? What we're supposed yeah, to get here? Yeah, the the success uh, uh, during uh, if you look at the mission parameters, you can see the success here for the uh, this segment of the mission is to mm -hmm. disable the console. Right. So we need to get through the door, one of the two doors. And then we need to disable the console. Right. And uh, there is no, um, like, the commander decides what team should start in what spot. There are these two spots, right? Next mm -hmm, to these mm -hmm. two uh, tugboats, right? Okay. Right. So uh, you decide. Mm -hmm. The okay. only thing is that we are just on two separate teams. That's the only, like, magical thing about it. That's the thing you have to keep in mind. Uh, because when you look at the condition, the trigger condition underneath the success parameters it says that the disguise a team will stay disguised if no one on the team interacts with objects or enemies mm. once a player from a team interacts with an object enemy that specific team is revealed and the ebc the enemy behavior card uh, will change to chaotic attack towards them mm. so i can go and hit somebody and they will only attack me or you can do that. Right, right, yeah. right. So that means that as soon as... So let's say we, we, we try the left door into the room with the console. That means as soon as we go into that room where... Mm -hmm. you, yes, exactly, over there. And uh, you try to open that door, they will see through our disguise. And they'll attack us. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Well, okay. So um, we we have the benefit of hitting the first, right? Uh, to to strike first. Yes. So. Well, then technically, you know, if we have to be each in a different team spot, or can we still deploy in the same spot? No, we have to have every team has to be in a different spot, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. then I would say logically, you go on the left side, and then you go south. Yeah. Towards the door, and I'll go on the right side and just casually stroll by the guards <laughs> and keep a keep basically a lookout and guard that room so that is my initial strategy right here <laughs> see if that will work all right let's take a closer look at the, yep. at the board here and uh, ninja Ge geek games uh, welcome in welcome in thank you for the follow and ninja geek Games says i was really impressed by the prototype of this game have you have you played the actual prototype or the tabletop simulator version? Because uh, yeah, interesting. <laughs> I've played it on tabletop simulator so far a couple of times, and I'm also very very impressed. And uh, I, I can't wait to the restart of the Kickstarter. So uh, hopefully we'll we'll get it funded, you know, in the first 24 hours this time because I think the game deserves it. <laughs> All right, so our characters are deployed. These are the fuel barrels. Hour mark, yeah. That's the one we go for. Yes, yes, <laughs> of course, yeah. It, it's the psychology behind Kickstarter, right? That's just the thing. It's 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 a bit weird. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit weird, but that's just how it works. All right. It is interesting because when I look at my previous Kickstarters, the two previous Kickstarters, they both funded halfway through, and it was not really a concern. Right. It was not something that was brought up as a big deal mm -hmm. or a particular thing, but, but that anxiety to, you know, have it funded within the first two, three days is, is just so real and palpable now. Mm -hmm. it's, I mean, that, yeah, that also strange. basically indicates that people care about this game, right? I mean, it's an indication that people are looking forward to it and really want it to fund because you got a lot of feedback from 
from backers and from potential backers and also feedback from people who just saw it and told you why they didn't back it. So, I mean, that's that's a sign that people are very interested in the game. Otherwise, they would just ignore it and move on, right? So Yeah, leave it alone. Yeah. Positive, <laughs> I think, so far. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, yeah. So, which one of us should start? Yeah. Uh, shall I yeah. begin? That's uh, that's up to the commander. Uh, <laughs> yes. Depends on the strategy. I mean, uh, there's no doubt that this area over here is probably the most free area mm -hmm. to to have, uh, you know, to to go through here. Exactly. Or otherwise, you know, you have to lure these guys away uh, because they will they're very close to the door, right? So you would like to get rid of those before um, attempting to open the door. Yes, yes. All right. I could do that, yeah. Um, and let's see. We've got two types of enemies here. So we've got mm -hmm. my, these guys. They are melee uh, with the shield and the baton. And let's see. Are the other guys different? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the base. <laughs> they have spears. So they have a range of one. They have a movement of two, they can do three damage, they even have shields, and there's a plus two. That, I haven't seen that one yet. What, what does that mean? The uh, they have a three damage and two shield and two uh, health. It's just the health is oh, the, right. um, That's their the one to the right. Oh, exactly. Oh, then, yeah. well, I have seen it, just forgot. Because <laughs> these guys <laughs> are a little bit... Yeah, they have a range one, a speed of three. But they deal two damage. They only have one shield, but they have four health. Mm. All right, all right. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Should I get in position? Uh, and I'm assuming I can explode these barrels, right? <laughs> so we have these fuel barrels. Yeah. Hmm. It's stated here in, under the conditions that fuel barrels have one health, mm -hmm. can be attacked by players. When exploding, it deals four damage to all objects within two squares. Okay. Explosions only limited by walls. Ah, right. Okay. So let's see. So this, this, this one here has a wall here, of course, around it. Yes. This one here is a bit too far away to mm -hmm. touch them right now. Yeah. <laughs> and that this one, one just... here can kill this guy here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this one here will beat me up. So. Yeah, yeah, Probably obviously. don't want to no. <laughs> touch that for now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. Well, I have, you know, like a ranged gun, uh, jamming rifle, which I can also use to hack uh, from a distance. And let's see, deal one damage to an enemy within five squares or interact with an object uh, for one point within five squares. So five squares, that's that's. A pretty good range but I do need to have line of sight and uh, if I recall correctly line of sight is simply tracing a line between the dots on the map right the, the middle to middle uh, yeah the, of the, a square the, exactly. so little like this oh, let's see if I can see that So if you use uh, F4, you can draw a line. Oh, yourself. exactly. Oh, that's that's convenient. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, that is quite convenient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if that crosses a, a closed door or a wall, then obviously you don't have line of sight. All right, let's take a look at my cards. I have some uh, some basic <coughs> movement, and again, this is still a prototype a copy. So a lot of these images are placeholders. Um, mm. So I can move one square with this but i also get to roll one die that's the icon in the middle there and the die might have an additional move or even two additional movements if i'm lucky and um let's see what else can i do i have this the disruption suit which gives me plus two movement two squares for all my movement actions and adjacent enemies get less shield, so that's pretty cool. Um, all right, and here on this uh, player reference card, you can see what a player can do. So you can always do two actions, so basically that means also playing two cards. So what you can do, you can uh, 
play the two actions, then you can end the turn with a free rest action. I will explain that in a bit. Then you flip your activation token, that's the battery token, which means I've taken my turn uh, this round, and then we move the turn token one spot to the right, because as you will see here, uh, the, the missions are timed. We have a number of turns. Um, every player takes a turn as one spot on the track and uh, before we need to finish. So a little bit of haste is recommended. All right. Always. Yes, and then afterwards <laughs> uh, we check if the mission is complete or not and then enemies take a turn <clears throat> and then you repeat that with the next player. So the actions are explained at the bottom there. So like I said, you can play an action card or you can play two action cards as uh, your second action. Uh, you can also move the concentration token up uh, two spots uh, because you during the game you will probably be spending those to re-roll dice. And you can also rest. And resting is a very fun mechanism i think you get one free rest after all of your turns but every time you play a card you'll notice that these cards have a number in the top left and that number is basically the card's cooldown so when you've taken an action you place it underneath your board over here uh, which has these numbers in spot one two three or four and then every time you rest those cards move to the left one spot and once they're in the final spot over here, then you can just take them back to your hand. So obviously, if you have a card with a zero on it, you immediately get it back. You can just play it and you get it back. So you could play it as the second action as well. All right. Yes. Hey, welcome in Presto. Uh, we've disabled the sound commands for this because we're <laughs> playing the game uh, right here with, uh, with the designer <laughs> Emil Larsen. Uh, so I didn't want to have too many interruptions. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, I think, let's see, this is the enhanced mech legs that my character has. It lets me jump, but I won't engage enemies just yet. We are both disguised, so we're infiltrating here. I'm going to use my disruption suit, and I'm going to place it not in spot two, because I can. It's It has a two timer cooldown but I'm gonna place it all the way you can always choose to place it higher up the cooldown track so I'm gonna place that in spot four because this suit is it's convenient for me because I get to move more so I want it to be active as long as I can Brett so you're losing the image uh, you mean like uh, let's see ah I'm dropping frames apparently Let's see if that uh, stays like this. Um, well, I don't know if I can change that. It's probably Presto because I'm both streaming and I'm doing the video call uh, with Emil. So my internet connection is uh, pretty, um, you know, working hard, so to speak. <laughs> Uh, let's see what my stream says here. Yeah, I'm, I'm experiencing a little bit of instability. Let's see. I hope it'll, it'll clear up. Yeah, I can see your, your ping is going up and down. Yeah. Otherwise, I can, of course, uh, turn off my video if uh, should focus on on the game just let me know <laughs> Presser says hello bud congrats on creating this game so that's uh, Emil over there who created the game and uh, yes indeed <laughs> this is a very very awesome game so far thank and, you uh, yes <laughs> compliments from Presto <laughs> Presto is the is the thank stream you. picking up so again much. is the is the how is the the feed right now because it's telling me well i mean it's it seems to be stable at about almost 4000 kilobits uh, right now 
So hopefully that'll um, stabilize. Anyway, so I've played this card next mm -hmm. um, for my second action. I still need to move. Oh, you should uh, remember the dice. You have the two dice when you play the card. Right? Oh, right. I, I always, yes, exactly. It, it says the two the dice. In the middle of the card. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So you can roll two dice. You could get some movement that you could utilize. All right. I'll. You can hear, but the image is frozen even. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Right. Uh, let's see if I can uh, do anything about that. Um, let me remove the menu for one. Um, yeah, I'll I will try. I'll see if this helps. I'm just gonna temporarily see if that uh, if that helps. Um, turn off the um, the webcams for a second. And hopefully that will free up. It's, it's not that my CPU is struggling here. It's mostly the connection. So I don't know if that mm. will will help at all. Uh, it looks much better in here. In oh, Microsoft, you're, at least. you're seeing the screen as well. The stream. So. It looks like, uh, the, at least what I can see in here, in the uh, same have simulated there's also a ping that yeah. is a bit lower now than before all right all right so at least that helped a bit <laughs> all right so let's roll the two dice all right yeah i'm gonna roll and see what happens oh i get movement and a plus one so uh the plus one doesn't help me right now because this card um doesn't really have an action in itself it just lets me roll two dice and tells me that I have plus two movement on movement action. So that means if I take a movement action with a card, then I get plus two extra. Uh, so the plus yep. one doesn't really help me right now, but I do get two movement on this die right here. So I'll use those, and you can move diagonally. So I'm gonna yep. move, let's see, uh, one out here, and then... I might want to go to these guys. So I'll just move over here and see if I can take those out first as soon as they they trigger. Just get in position. Maybe get behind them later so I can try to block them. So I still have a second action. I will use my basic movement action, which has a cooldown of zero. So it will come back to my hand right away. That lets me roll one die and then I can move one. So this is a move action which, due to this card, my Disruption Suit, is plus two. So I can move three spots, excuse me, and I can roll a die. So I'll roll a die first, see what that does. It gives me a plus one or a shield. Now my shield is still at max, so I don't need a shield. So I'm getting a plus one, and that means a plus one to any stats between those brackets right so um the move has Great. a one so is now two correct and uh pl plus the two from the disruption suit means i can move to four spots right now so let's see uh nice. one two three i don't really need to move four but let's see on my next move i do I need to be in melee? Yes, adjacent is always the next square over. So I could use my katanas on them when I'm over here. So I'm going to stand over here, which means I'm adjacent to these two enemies, both of them. And uh, that means my disruptor suit will give them a minus two shields. And that is what they have. They Basically, they have a shield of two. So if I attack them, they will not have shields. And I can do direct damage and I could use my uh, my katana slashers to deal two damage to two adjacent enemies which is great and uh, I mean I could also try and explode 
a barrel, but that would only damage this one. So that's like a, a last uh, ditch effort, <laughs> perhaps. So I'm just going to stand here and just casually hang around these two guards. And those were my two cards, so my two actions. Um, then, uh, basically, um, I end my turn with a free rest action. This one goes back to my hand anyway, because it was a zero uh, cooldown card. Z this one moves to the left. And then I flip my activation token to indicate that I've taken my turn. And then we move the counter one spot to the right. So that was the first turn. Um, then we check. We don't need to check right now because uh, nothing really changed. And then the enemy's turn is up, but they aren't suspicious yet. They, they no. don't think we're enemies, so they won't take any actions. Unless, no. unless perhaps the card tells them to move or something, but uh, we have. There's over no here. such thing. There's no, no such thing. Okay. No. So this card. Uh, they own. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they own uh, EBC none. So. All right. Nothing is going on for them right now. Yes. So this card here that you see is basically the AI. Uh, this tells you how to move. Uh, in this case, the red enemies uh, with the R. And there's also a page that has the yellow enemies, and uh, Emil will explain that in a bit as they yep. activate. So we will probably have them activate at some point. Yes, <laughs> they probably will. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but then I will take my turn. I yes. will do a basic move to begin with. My special ability gives me plus two movement when uh, I'm more than two squares away from the nearest ally. So. Okay, cool. That's super, so that's a three. And plus one or oh, a movement, so that's four. Nice. So Ooh. one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Then I will play the... Perhaps I should play the power armor just in case that somebody starts shooting everywhere. <laughs> uh, who know. knows? Or I could use my... <laughs> um... I think I will just do my EMS device and I will put it the, my battle management system here. Cool. I will use three dice just to get this one down. Okay, there was plenty of movement. Wow, that's a lot of movement. Yeah. So I will use <laughs> one, two, yeah. And mm -hmm. that was uh, a cooldown for me here. Yep. This BMS also allows me to uh, move an ally of course uh, within line of sight mm -hmm. so like everything where you interact with anything has to be within line of sight so i could move you two squares if you were within line of sight but i didn't really care about that because you seem to have positioned yourself pretty well yeah <laughs> you do not need any focus for now okay okay that was uh, my turn i will flip my activation token mm -hmm. and I will move the turn token down, and yes. uh, then we can flip our activation tokens back and yes. decide who should go first. All right. Okay, so Presto <coughs> asks, will we be able to ask questions to Emil? Yes, Presto. Yes, that is the point. Yes, please do. Please, please do. do. <laughs> if you have any questions, please ask them. I will read them to Emil, and he will answer them for you. All right, so that was I love both questions. our turns. So, um... I think Hiro should uh, try and hack the door. Um, okay. Uh, on the other hand, so if you hack the door, <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking yeah. out loud right here. <laughs> yeah. Because if uh, you hack the door, the enemy becomes yeah. active and they will take their turn immediately after your turn, correct? Yeah. So I they will only go for me, of course. But... Oh, they will, they'll ignore me because I'm still... Uh... Yeah, because yeah, oh. you're not on my team, per se, right? Oh, That's why correct. we were divided into two teams, right? So, I see, I uh, see. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well... Um, well, you're going to have to... In this round, you're going to have to open the door anyway. That, that's going to happen. So I think perhaps it would be wise that I try and just take care of these two guards <laughs> mm -hmm. before you open the door. And, you know, <laughs> if I can, yeah. if even if I can just take out one of them, 
that will prevent mm. them from attacking me or 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 getting close to you um, mm. after you open the door. So right, okay. I'm sorry, Emil. I'm gonna take command <laughs> and take yep. the first turn. Good, good. Uh, yep. Oh, hang on. I forgot to do one thing. I think um, no, I did not. No, no, no. The resting option is once no, no. per turn. Yes, that, that went okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, let's see. Then I think. The katana slashers are a good idea now because I can roll a die and then I can deal two damage to two adjacent enemies and these guys do have two health. So I could technically take them out both at once because they have zero shields now because of my disruption suit, <laughs> which is great. So yeah, I'm going to use my katana slashers. They unfortunately have a cooldown of three, which is right now is taken by the disruption suit. So I'm going to have to put this in spot four. You can't move it lower. You can only move it higher. So that's the Katana Slashers. So that means I get to roll one die. So I'll take a die. I'll roll that. There we go. Oop. I get a plus one or a movement. I'll take the plus one. Mm, because That will not help you. The plus one. Oh, because no, because you it's see, the enemies. Deal two damage. Right. Yes. To amount of enemies, which is two. So if there were three, it would be great. But that's, that's, in this case, it doesn't. That's correct. If the, yeah, if the deal two was between brackets, I could make that three. But it's the adjacent enemies that's between brackets. So I, know, I only have two. Um, no. Can I do the attack first and then use that movement from the die? Afterwards? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Then I'll yes, probably exactly. do that. You can program the resources you get from the die and the cards action as you see fit. Perfect. See, I love that. That is simple. That is simple ruling. There is no question. And I, I just, <laughs> that's so intuitive. That's great. All right. Uh, well, then, I will deal two damage to the two adjacent okay. enemies. And that just happens, yeah. right? That's just yeah. done. <laughs> that's just how it is. Yeah. Yes, that's just how it is. No no dice rolling for that. Nope. Which I also like. That, that adds to the strategy. All right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Presto has a question. So uh, he says, I saw this is a digital version. Yes. Is this game available on tabletop version 2? Yeah. So Presto, uh, if you weren't aware, this game is going to be on Kickstarter. We already had a Kickstarter, but uh, Emil canceled it because it was looking like it was not going to get funded, sadly. Um, but he is planning on a new Kickstarter for it. So this will be a physical mm. board game. Yes. Yes. And in all its glory. Yeah. Yes, and the engine we're using here, this is Tabletop Simulator, which you can, it's mm. just basically a digital gaming platform which you can find on Steam, uh, for example. I think it's on Steam, yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so basically he made a prototype digital version to experience the board game before it's made. All right. Yeah. Uh, so I still have my movement. Uh, now, I'm going to see these guys are going to come for me. Uh, I yeah. have a scope that has a range of five. And I'm thinking that if these two guys, these two red uh, guards with the shields, move towards me, the shortest route is through this door, and they will be next to this barrel. And I'm going to try and blow up the barrel. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, they have a movement of three, so this guy would move one north, then probably diagonal, and then here. So he would be well within range of an explosive barrel. And I have five range, so that's... But I need to have line of sight. So I'll have to check right now uh, to see... Uh, which button was that again? F4? Yeah, F4, yeah. Oh, you can do that for me, right. So from so this... Need to one, two, three, four, five. So you could stand all the way over on these spots here in order yeah, to yeah. reach exactly two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of standing next to the door here. So yeah, let's see. But I don't think I see the barrel then because it's through this wall, right? Yeah, it's it's crossing. Well, that it wall. it is uh, the grid is um, uh, what do you call it like that? The grid commands the space, so. Even though there are some way where graf graphical elements will, nope. you know, be a bit uh, blurry because of, you know, putting a real 
environment in there, yeah. you will always be able to cross on the edges. So that oh. means here is fine, this would be fine, and therefore so three on one side and three on the other side of cross right. would also be fine. Okay. Just so like you imagine a chessboard, right? Exactly. Where, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the line will will exactly cross that. Yeah. Uh, that cross section. Cross here. the yeah. Cross the yeah. The the cross area there. The cross section. Yeah. Then yes. All right. It's all fine. All right. Yeah. Um, how do I exit the uh, <laughs> the measurement tool? Oh, uh, just F one. F one. Okay. And you're back to drawing. So that means I will move one spot to the left with that die result. So I'm within range and line of sight of the barrels. And uh, that was basically just my first action, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah. So uh, let's see. I don't really need to use uh, another action. And I want to hold on to my sniper rifle for, for shooting later. So I'm not going to put that on the table. So um, I could... I don't need to concentrate because I haven't used any focus yet. I could do a rest action, but that would also move the... Oh, well, yes, I could, because the disruption suit only works on adjacent enemies, and mm. I don't need the speed right now, so I'm going to use a free rest action just to get the katanas back quicker uh, as my second action. Then, at the end of my turn, I get the free rest action, so they move to the left again. There we go. Then I flip my token, because that was my turn. Uh, we move the uh, round marker one spot to the right. And it's the enemy's turn, because they are on to yeah. me. I just killed a couple of their guys. <laughs> yeah. So they would go to chaotic attack. Yes, let's take and since there are no red ones, they flip to the yellow ones. So there will not be any reds activating since there are no red ones. So we mm -hmm. go straight to the to the um, to the yellow one. Mm -hmm. So and uh, this element here is um, the the programming of the AI. So yes. the AI has, of course, its its um, its name. What currently what is their state and that is chaotic attack so mm -hmm. you can find that it's meant to be a card so you look in this deck of 30 cards and you find chaotic attack and you draw that card and it has a red and a yellow side right so we've gone to the yellow side and in the top there is a condition so this condition says that if the activated enemy is damaged mm -hmm. they will use the exclamation mark instead which is the third row yeah at the bottom there yes yeah None of them is, of course, uh, damaged right now since we haven't touched them. So they will therefore use the uh, the programming in the top and the sec uh, in the top row and the second uh, row. Mm -hmm. So that means lowest initiative has the top row. Second lowest initiative of the yellow uh, aced enemies will have the second row. Okay. So the first guy, he, which is this one over here with number one, yeah, he will. Move to nearest player. Now there's only you, and he will attack all players. So he will move three. One, mm -hmm. two, three. Mm -hmm. Three. And he's on his way to you. Yep. <laughs> one, two, three. Yep. Because he can move diagonally. And then as we well. have the other one. He will also move towards you. Mm -hmm. uh, he will go to the most distant player, but there's still only you to choose from. Exactly. So you're one, still two, three. And he will do something a bit different. So he will throw a grenade at the nearest player within three to five squares. Oh no, a grenade. The grenade detonates <laughs> on impact and deals one unblockable damage to all characters within one square of the target player. Yes. So I'm standing away from you, that was good. Yep. But he will throw and deal one unblockable damage to you. So it goes through your three shields and you have to draw a damage card. Oh wow. From from that deck all right from that deck yeah right so unblockable simply means the shields don't yeah. do Ignores anything ignores shields yeah right. and i draw a card and take that into oh. my hand you uh, yeah you can flip it over however you see fit and, mm -hmm. yeah and what does it say here it's a minor head trauma when drawn yeah. place this card on cooldown spot number one all right and that is taken so yep. it gets to to spot three unfortunately oh no it is oh, since it's an action card it's taken by then you will return that action card and put it on one 
So like a damage card oh. overrule action cards and like right. a adrenaline boost, you get the action card back to your hand. Mm. So sometimes that's good. Sometimes it's not as great. I mean, here you have an ongoing ability, which is nice to have. Yeah. So you wouldn't necessarily want that returned, but here goes. So uh, you just take that card back to your hand and put the damage card on the slot one. Oh, okay. Well, okay. But if it had been a damage card, then you would have to put it on two. So, you know, there is that. I'm sorry, I, I did not quite uh, understand that last bit. If it had been a damage if, card... Oh, if it had been, like, let's say we had drawn another damage card that says... I can always reshuffle yeah, these. Yeah, shuffle, yeah, so just... exactly. Uh, anyways, let's say this one had to be put on number one, and the one is taken by a damage card. You need to put it on two. Oh, right, if there's and already that's how a it damage accumulates, card. right? Oh, that's yeah. what you mean. Yeah, okay, exactly. Yeah. Right. Okay, now... Uh, it has an ongoing effect, uh, and it says, uh, I think, range on... Yep. Uh, there's a hand icon card. Yep. The interact cards. Interact yep. cards, right. Uh, so the range of interact cards is uh, minus one, with a minimum of one. So I can basically see less far because of the head trauma, of course. Very yep. thematic, like that. And also, when uh, I think when discarded, right, uh, it's the final yep. icon. Oh, it's, it says so when discarded. Lose one yeah. shield. All right. Okay. Makes yeah. sense. But this is only if you look to the right in the card's uh, right side, you can see it says heart in the mm -hmm. middle and it says insane in the bottom. So depending on what level you play, if you play ah. regularly, you only deal with what is written in when drawn. Okay. If you want to play on hard, which I definitely think is, is fun, we could do that. Yes. Um, <laughs> then we also take into account ongoing effects. And if we play on insane, mm -hmm. then everything that ha you know happens when you know you take the cards off the track again, right? Okay. So. Oh, that's very clever. <laughs> that's very clever. Yes. I haven't seen that. So yet. let's let's say like you were very new to such games, then you could just play on regular. But w if your buddies were very uh, into these games, mm -hmm. then they could play <laughs> on hard or insane, and it wouldn't you know you would have different difficulties across the board without really affecting the overall game. Right. So, yeah. That's that's awesome. <laughs> I like how that scales like that. It's just very simple. Yeah. Okay. So, so that was the damage yeah. that I took. Uh, both of yeah. these uh, enemies have done their actions, I assume. Yep. All right. Yep. So that, that means it's have. up to you. And, uh, of course, yeah, you are in that situation where uh, I am actually, uh, you know, having to take my turn, which means the yellows yeah, will advance on you afterwards again. Yeah. Um, so, let's see here. I really want to get this uh, door open, of course. So I will play my grid slicer in number two, mm -hmm. and I will roll a die with that. Yes. A plus one. I will take it. <laughs> So that means I can interact with an object for three within two squares. Nice. When I'm interacting, I need to draw tokens from the interact bag. Mm -hmm. Put it here, or because I, I think it, uh, it's easy for you to see here. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Good. So I can draw up to three tokens, and I need three matching tokens in order to successfully interact with a door, hack a console, or anything else that has this thematic uh, hacking system, right? Yes. So, I will start by drawing one, another one, Whoa. and okay, I'm Lucky. overperforming here, <laughs> but if I had only drawn two blue ones and a purple, then I would have to choose what color I would keep at the door mm -hmm. as the ongoing hacking, and then I would um, put the other color not used back into the bag. Mm -hmm. So here I just drew three yeah, that's blue because that's how lucky. I roll. So <laughs> yeah, that is a bit lucky. Yeah. Um, and the door is gone because I have just opened it. Yeah. So to uh, okay to to summarize, basically, what when you interact with something. Uh, the card mm -hmm. will tell you how many tokens to draw from the bag, right? Yep. So yeah, it, it will tell you how many you can draw because mm -hmm. you're allowed to draw up to that number. So right. I could, if I had drawn a white token as the first token, I might have said, well, I will not draw the last two tokens because if I draw a white one, then I cancel the entire thing. Mm -hmm. Two, if you have because two you're white not allowed ones, to draw exactly. two whites in an action. Yeah. 
So yeah, basically so you there need is to... a push your luck element to it. Yeah. Yeah, because the idea is if you succeed if you have three yeah. tokens of the same color, and the yeah. white, and white one white is a joker. Yeah. That's that's a yeah, wild exactly. card. So um, if you draw two red ones and a white one, that's a success as well. If you draw yeah. different colors, then you need to choose which ones stay on the board at the object yeah. you're, you're hacking and the rest goes back into the bag. And then on a next turn, mm -hmm. you can try to complete that set of three. And like Emil said, if you draw a white uh, wildcard token and you draw a second mm -hmm. white one, then you're, you fail. You basically botch the job and you have to return them to the bag. And that's, that's it. It's, the attempt is over. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a pressure luck uh, mechanism. But Emil got incredibly lucky <laughs> and drew yeah. three blue tokens in one go. So you instantly hack the door and open it up. And that is brilliant. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, because otherwise I would, of course, have used my second action for an interact. I would have had to yes. try to get the door open. But I will use my second action with a basic move. And I will move one. I could roll, but I do not want any more movement right now. So there is no point, and I have all my shield. And that is because at the end of the turn, yeah. which is now, before the free rest action, move an ally two squares. The ally also gains one focus. But I will move you two squares, because the thing is, these guys will catch up to you. Yeah. and. Uh, you know that will not be fun so <laughs> yeah, exactly. you just have to decide whether or not you can move anywhere with two squares so you could also move up here if you want to mm -hmm. so so a yeah, question you, you you do that yeah uh enemies block my line of sight right no they don't uh characters and items do not block line of sight so you can shoot through them uh to hit oh. the things behind them right. so of course enemies mm -hmm. can do the same so you cannot block their line of sight either. Okay. So, and that's because I I played with line of sight uh, as also being blockable by uh, enemies and and so on and so forth uh, for quite a while, and then I just tried to take it off, and it just was fun and quicker. And I was like, the idea is not to have a super realistic tactical shooter. It's about having a fun yeah. tactical shooter. <laughs> exactly. Possible, okay. Right? So, good. Yeah. Well, uh, if I may make to uh, move two spots, I'm gonna move this way. Because yeah, that, yeah, no, that don't means... worry about me. You know, that's all fine. You know, you, you do you. Yeah, you, you can you can go hack that thing. I'll, I'll take care of these guys, because they can move okay. three. Because if they yeah. move three towards me, you know, yeah. then they won't be able to hit me because they have a melee range of one, but they will be within. Uh, the range of this barrel mm. and then i can try and shoot that barrel and yeah. blow them up that is of course if they come after you then that will be different but mm. let's see let's see we can read that on yeah. the chaotic attack right so because yeah and i will just finish my turn here so yeah. flip 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 and move and down to five mm -hmm. turns and yep. then yeah it's the enemy's turn yes let's see what they do so let's see the nearest player for number one. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Well, five. But yours in, is in a straight line, so he will go for you. Nice. One, two, three. That's what we want. <laughs> so yeah, and the other guy, most distant player. Well, that will have to be me then. Ah, it's the most distant. So player, yeah, one, two, three, and then he will. He will blow. Uh, he will throw a grenade again. Yep. <laughs> That's and very bad. well, this is this is where the wording gets very important, right? Because it says throw a grenade against the player within three to five. So that's you. Mm -hmm. The gr grenade detonates on impact and deals one unblockable damage to all characters within that side. So that does mm -hmm. not mean the barrel, because that's an object. Oh right, uh, all characters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's actually so. The wording point. has meaning, and and yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I I did that on purpose for for this, you know, that because it can also run out of control. Yeah, <laughs> if that explodes, yeah. exactly. Oh boy. <laughs> so you will get one more damage. I will yes. just make sure these are shuffled from my. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's draw a card. Flip that over. And, oh, and there we have it. 
this is on one. Oh, so this is a damage card that's gonna be in spot one. And I yeah, already have and therefore one it will one. go to two, yeah. So this is a minor avulsion. Let's see. When drawn, move an action card one spot to the right. Uh, but if yep. th but this is placed on top of this one first, right? No, no, no. Because when you read how when drawn, what oh, does when it drawn. say oh, to yeah, begin it's with? It's true. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> move an action card one slot to the right. So you have to move the katana up to three. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I'm gonna yeah, use the it gun sucks. anyways. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what happens when you draw it. Then I place it in spot um, yep. one, but it's taken, so it goes yep. to spot two, correct. And yep. then an ongoing effect is that I cannot gain any shields. Well, I haven't lost any so far, so that's okay. All right. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess that's it. Yep. <laughs> yep. Taking damage. So we can flip our tokens back. Yes. And as much as I wanted to say I should go first, it's I I have a feeling that they will pummel you to death if uh... pummel me to death. Yeah, I'll take him out. I can I can take him. <laughs> All right, and uh, Varija, welcome in and thank you for the follow. Uh, I'm glad you could make it into this uh, live stream of uh, Rogue Angels together with uh, Emil, who is here, the designer of the game, to play this game with us. All right, so now we're uh, on to the next turn. This looked so good, he says. Hopefully the relaunch goes better. Yes, indeed, I am 100% with you on that one. Mm, thank you. <laughs> All right. So, uh, okay. So we've infiltrated uh, Varija, this, uh, this station. And um, uh, Emil is playing uh, Hiro, who is uh, entering this room to hack a console. And I am basically drawing fire from uh, from these guys. I already took out two of them. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take uh, the first turn here in this round because I am going to try and uh, take out as much of these guys as I can, hopefully both. But um, my katanas, uh, unfortunately, are still on cooldown right here uh, because of a couple of damage that I took. So uh, let's see. And I only have this many spots right so um this is unfortunate because right now if i play a card my slots are full and i can't play anything else Ooh, that's that's <coughs> tough that's tough well i could always yep. do a basic interact or a basic move but with the basic interact i can also deal one damage to an adjacent enemy of course i need to be adjacent but uh, that would be on spot zero, so I could still do a basic action. Um, yeah, otherwise you will have to rest before. Yes, like exactly. Like the first action, right? So, yeah. uh, because I could do that, right? I can actually yeah. rest first and then take an action. Hmm. Let me think. The rifle is spot two, so that would go on the final spot, last spot. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. Um, if I rest, it would be in spot three, and then I could still do something. But yeah, resting is uh, is also an action, so I can only do that, and then play a card. Let's see, should I do that? I mean, if I play this one, it's going to be in the final spot anyway. So it doesn't really matter if it's in two or three because it's in if i place in a four it'll move to three afterwards anyway so i don't think that matters um it also lets me roll a die um right maybe you know if i get a movement from that 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 could help so okay yeah i'm just gonna gonna see what happens i'm gonna play the rifle and i have to put it in spot four because remember two. if you need uh, some more damage you can always upgrade uh, oh, right. or you you know that's true so. see this is where these uh, attributes come into play this card like any other card has the uh, red green yellow and blue sections there and the red one says um it does either a plus one damage or a plus one to an interact action and i want to um let's see does that help uh, oh yeah, that's because of the damage. 
and I need to I could actually shoot them directly um, they can but they have four health how many damage does the barrel do again when it it does four so oh. with their one shield they would be down to one health point left okay, right okay, okay. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Oh, he would. The, he, the guy the guy next to you. This is just the one, yeah, because he's within range. Yeah. Yeah. The other one is just yeah. outside of range. Mm, okay. Um, another option that I have is this. I can jump over an empty space for two spots and then deal three damage, but it's one adjacent enemy. So, yeah, now I'll do the barrel. For, I just want to shoot a barrel. <laughs> That's basically it. Just wanted to... So I'm using my jamming rifle. I'm going to roll one die. So I'll do that first. Roll the die. Boom. I get either a plus one or a shield. It's not really what I wanted. I actually wanted movement. But, um, let's see. Uh, so I deal one damage to an object or interact with an object. Yeah, I, I can basically shoot the barrel, correct? Yeah, yeah. You can uh, shoot the barrel. So I'm, I'm going to shoot this barrel. It, it only takes one hit, right? It just explodes. Yeah, it, it's ridden one damage. Oh, it, one health. Yeah. One health, so. yeah. So I shoot this barrel. This explodes and deals uh, three da uh, four damage to this guy who has one shield. So he takes three damage. And as you can yeah. see, Emil is turning around the bases here. Uh, the final game will probably look different from these bases. But they all yeah. have a initiative number on the outside, so this is uh, character yeah. one and character two. And they two. will they will have a uh, like a hero click ish kind of tracker, right? Of yeah. Their health. So. Exactly. So you can t uh, keep track of which of the enemies yeah. has the highest initiative. Yeah. So that's one and two, and how much their mm. health is underneath there on that dial. So that's very yeah. handy as well. So this guy is down to one. This guy still has four health. Um, let's see, that was yep. my first action. I still have, well, I, I couldn't use the die, right? Um, I think I think I'm gonna use a concentration to reroll that. Because that would yeah. otherwise be a wasted, uh, a wasted die. Yeah, I mean, normally you would do that before executing the action, but I mean, nothing special has happened that yeah, I mean, that, oh, so you just re-roll it, yeah. As you because see. I can technically you. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Nice. So I get a double movement here, as you can see with the double icon there. And I'm going to move. Let's see. Do I want to move into the room, <laughs> or do I want to engage these guys? Well, you're gonna take your turn and activate them as well. So I think uh, for now I'm just gonna move one, two behind the walls here although they can move wait, how much can they move they can Up move three. three one two three they can always get to me so yeah they yeah yeah mm. so otherwise you should have gone all the way up here but even even the nearest guy he would be able to catch you yeah i'll i'll move here then just one two here because yeah. yeah just to yeah. see if i can draw them away from you a bit more um, so those were my two, uh, no, that was my yep. one action, my one action, I played a card, um, let's see, I think, uh, a best thing to do is to rest, because I cannot play another card, well, I can actually, oh, that was, yeah, that was actually what I was move. thinking of, um, that, that's, that was my, I forgot why I wanted to move, and that was actually, if I moved from here, to this guy over here, like so. Oh, you're trying to punch him? Exactly. I'm just gonna. Yeah, why not? He, Go he, for he it. only has the one um, health left. Uh, he does have one shield. But he has, yeah, yeah. But you just need a plus one on your basic. That's correct, and you're fine. <laughs> it's a gamble. It's a gamble. So I'll play I this know. one here, and that allows me to roll a die and deal one damage, possibly a plus one to an adjacent enemy and that's what I need. I need a plus two or a, a total of two. So I'm gonna roll the die. Wish me luck. Come on. And that's a plus one. I, I accidentally wrote that one as well, but this is a plus one or a movement. So I'm gonna take the plus one and deal two damage to the adjacent enemy, which is down to one. So that one is out of the game. I took one out. 
Yeah. I take this back into my hand because that's on zero. Then all of my cards cool down for one spot. And then uh, I flip my token. And now we move the tracker. Yep. Oh, you can discard this card here. Yes. Oh, we'll finally. just go back in the discard pile next to the damage cards. Next to the damage cards. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So they, they just get discarded. Oh, that's good. That's good. <clears throat> that's a relief. So then there's only <laughs> one guy left. Yes. The yellow one and uh, his turn. He's there by... He's number two. You can see he has a yes. base of, uh, with the number two. But then he goes to being the highest initiative. Yes. Exactly. Lowest initiative, sorry, because uh, there's no one, right? So he moves up to do the top. Yes. Um... And he will go Top to the row. nearest player. Nearest player? player? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's already uh, adjacent to you, so he beats on every player, if he could, if I was also standing adjacent to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he deals two damage to you. So, and yeah, that's, that's just to the shield. The number of damage that he does, and that's regular damage. So, that's good. That's what we want. <laughs> and I take two damage on my shields. Yeah. And I keep track exactly. of that on my character board. So... Of course, while you still have this one, you will not be able to regain your shield. No, uh, not yet. And playing on hard. Yeah. But that's how it is. That's just uh, this, the next turn, yeah. and then I will be gone. <laughs> yeah. All right. Feeling okay. Pretty good about this. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, well. Yeah. Um, I will. I could go and help you out a bit, but I'm. I. You. You will be fine. You'll yeah, be fine. I'll be fine. And I will do my basic interact from here because I am more than two away from you. Mm -hmm. So my basic interact or my basic actions, which mm -hmm. means both of them, have plus two to plus two movement points, right? So I already have plus two movement points, which means I can reach the console from using those. Mm. And I will roll a die. It gives me a plus one or mm -hmm. a movement. Or I will just use the plus one because I have two movement. Yep. I will go over here and I can therefore draw two tokens from the interact bag or up right. to two tokens. Yep. So a, a red one and a plus. purple. Ah. Okay, I will keep the red one and mm -hmm. yeah, I know that's that's not normal for me, but <laughs> and I'll put the purple back. So disappointing. <laughs> yeah. So I will play my basic interact again and roll a die. Yes. That was movement. I will use a fo uh, focus to reroll that because right. oh. it's not of interest. Plus one, so two I can draw from the bag. Mm -hmm. A red and a purple. Again. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I will red. keep the purple and add it to the other purple here. Whoa, 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 whoa. where are you going? <laughs> it's flying off in space. So, yeah. So that was uh, my two actions. I will get one back there mm -hmm. i will move this down we're down to three actions yep. and the yeah the thing. enemy goes again yeah and he will just deal two damage take two to do two damage to you yep. yeah so that means i lose one shield and i take one yep. damage so i draw a card yep. yes exactly i draw a card oh boy let's see <clears throat> let's turn this around let's see what it is it is a severe open wound. Oh, no. Uh, when drawn, <clears throat> place this card on spot four. Well, that's good, because that's the only free spot we have. Oh, well, well good. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have had those <laughs> yeah. cards back into my hand. So it's actually not yeah. Not that great. <laughs> yeah. But there is no ongoing uh, thing. It just takes up a spot. So that's great. All right. Yeah. Okay. I, I guess and we can flip back our... Yes. Maybe. Activation token, so maybe you should try to do Take something. Take him out, exactly. Yeah, because otherwise you will. I will have to carry you out in pieces. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, he's still got his four health and his one shield. So I basically, if I want to take him out, need five damage, which is quite a lot. Uh, probably don't mm -hmm. have any cards that can do that right now. Uh, the only attacking card I really have is either the basic interact card, which just deals one damage, which I need to boost because the shield would just absorb that, or my uh, mech legs, which allow me to jump and then deal three damage to an adjacent enemy. But the three I cannot boost. Um, 
so that's a bit of a shame. I could boost my, my movement, but I don't need that, uh, really. I don't get any dice to roll for, from this. Um, yeah, and I don't have the green icon to add a die, but I don't need it anyway. Uh, let's see. The yellow one says gain... Is that a shield? Gain one shield? Yeah. Yeah. But I can't, right? I even... Because I have this card? No, because you have a damage card. And there is a list in the rule book that says what what overrules what, right? Oh, so, okay. And damage cards are higher than... Yes. I mean, that makes sense. Otherwise, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot gain shields. That just means I cannot gain shields. Period. Yeah, exactly. Period. Um, all right. So, <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. I guess I'll have to take a rest action first, so that I have a free slot. So I'll move this, and that means this card goes away. So yep. That's actually good. So now I can gain shields. Yep. This moves to the left, yep. this moves to the left, and this moves to the left. That was my first action. And none of these go back to my hand yet, unfortunately. So I'll play my enhanced mech legs on spot four. Come on. <laughs> you need a hand? <laughs> no, I just need to uh, need to move okay. my my camera a bit away. So. Ah, okay. It was, yeah. it was placing it back into my my hand automatically. It was too close. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now I can jump over an object or empty space uh, for two. So I'll just I'll move here. I'll jump here to block the door for you because I don't want them to come to you. Mm. And um, unless, well, no, I want to be adjacent. I want to be adjacent. So, uh, yeah, mm. I can. Then you can deal to... three damage to him. Yes, exactly. Now I'm dealing yeah. uh, three damage. So that means he takes two damage. He, that's halfway there. <clears throat> and uh, if I spend a yellow token, I gain a shield. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend a yellow token yep. and gain back a shield because we can use that. I don't sure. want that. Uh, damage it again. So those were my two actions. I rested and I played a card. Uh, I get a free rest, so that means this card goes back to my hand. Huzzah. I need that on my next turn. <laughs> this... Yeah. Oh, uh, can I move all three at once, perhaps? Let's see if that Yeah, works. you can if you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. there we go. Alright, that's much quicker. And then we move the time check, so we're almost out of time. We need to hurry. Yeah, we are. And, and you flip and, your... Uh... Yeah, I flip my token, and the enemy's turn is next. He yeah. still is... It's the only one left, so he always gets the top. Uh, this time, he, he actually goes for most distant player, right? Because you deal oh, damage to him, so he's right. in the lowest one. Yeah. So he will go... One, two, three. Oh, boy. I no, tried. but he's... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he just... No, no, but he cannot. He cannot hit me or uh, you, luckily, because he's a melee character. Melee right? character. So... Yeah. Oh, that's actually good then. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Uh, not I'll take too, him out next time. Then. Good, good, good. All right, do your hacking yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, I will do my hacking thing. So let's see here. Yeah, I will do my grid slicer because I think just to be sure. I mm -hmm. mean, we are not going to. I, I, I would have an action more i guess would be the choice right if we couldn't get it this turn but um let's not uh, jeopardize anything here so I and i do not need a shield, for now, need a shield. So re -roll. Re -roll. thank you okay plus, plus one. one so i can draw three tokens that mm -hmm. should not fail okay and there was a white one on the first one so i am definitely Perfect. not going to draw anymore no. so there was this one here mm -hmm. You did it. And then because I am a bit cool, uh, <laughs> I use my second action, this close combat pistol, which mm -hmm. deals one unblockable damage to an enemy within three. Mm -hmm. But if this is my second action this turn, deal two unblockable damage instead. So right. I turn around and oh, shoot nice. him in the face as I'm pushing in, <laughs> enter on the keyboard. Yay. So, yeah. And then I have my rest. That was well done, well done. There, Applause. And down to number one. So, mm -hmm. that means we can 
continue to mission update. Yes, because now we hacked the thing that we need to hack. We can check the mission for an update. So let me just uh, read that. Yep. Mission update number one. We got Camriel on the comms. Commander, get to the hangar and I'll pick you up. I still have those fighters on my tail, so stay alert. You'll have to wait until I've shaken them off. And then Aaron on the comm says, You again! First you steal from us while you're our guests, and now you're openly attacking our outposts! You've got some nerve. Hellfires, bring me those bastards so I can crucify them from here to Kaisar. Yeah, we, we, we made them angry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, that was... That's how it is. Yeah. That's how it is, yeah. <laughs> so, let's so then, see here, yeah. we get... A mission update. Two gods? Yeah. Yes. And let's take two gods here and put... Oh, like this. Mm -hmm. Because we are only playing two players, otherwise we would also put in yellow five and yellow six. But we are only two players, so that's two gods and not three or four gods. Okay. Yeah. And so, so why is there also a red <clears throat> seven and eight and a yellow seven and eight? That's because the uh, when you look uh, when you read the trigger condition reinforcement, when the turn token reaches five seven or nine, that mm -hmm. means five for our case. Yeah. Spawn and team size again. That means two ah, right. enforcers in area are seven to yellow eight so that would still mean that we would get the two red ones uh, over there right mm. yeah okay okay so there would be two enforcers coming in there mm -hmm. right so they uh, i put a there. small a helping token there are a couple of alert tokens that you can put on the track just to oh. remind yourself that the turn token reaches mm -hmm. five in this case case yep. then uh, you know you have to look at this trigger condition exactly so yeah aha that's that's clever. That's, we that's have, <laughs> nice. Yeah, we need to uh, have all players in the hangar as the turn token reaches uh, zero. All right, and the hangar is this upper area right here where the two tugboats are. Yeah, exactly. All right, all right. All right. So we have to blast our way out. <laughs> Now, okay. of course, um, since this was an update and the enemy goes after that, right? The mm -hmm. enemies are always after the update, meaning that it is the enemy's turn. Oh, yes. <laughs> they and first. they are they have been changed to advancing attack. Right? Okay. So, so because that's what it says here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we go to advancing. At uh, sorry, advancing attack. Let's see here. Advancing attack. Yes. So forward, here, if forward. the activated enemy is more than three squares away from the nearest player when activated, include exclamation mark as the last action. Mm, okay. Uh oh. Yeah. So if you're far away from them, they just move an extra spot. Yeah. They if get. They yeah. They get chase. to move again. So. Yeah, no. All right. So we have um, the lowest initiative. That was number five guy. He will go to nearest player. That's mm -hmm. definitely you. Yep. <laughs> One, two, three. Yep. And then he will hit you. All right. And so he hits me for let's see for two damage. Yeah. So I lose one shield and I take yeah. a damage card. Oh boy. I'm taking a lot of damage this time. Whoop! Uh, wrong button. <laughs> yeah. And to turn the card and then flip it. All right. Let's see what it does. When drawn, move a oh no, move a damage card one spot to the right. Oh, and then discard this card. And there's no. Yeah. Uh, you cannot do it since the damage card is locked in here. Oh, between. right. Okay. Yeah, because so. this has a zero, so it basically gets discarded right away anyway. So that that's clear. Yes. So, uh, all right. So that means if I have to move this one, I can't. Uh, I thought, you know, no. it, it only brings back cards that are already there when you place them. Yeah. Okay. It's only when you place it. Yeah. It's yeah. not when you move them. That's, uh, that's a different thing. That is, of course, exemplified in the rules. So, uh, all right. Um, yeah. 
But it's so that one damage card cannot suddenly swoop up all action cards uh, accidentally for some reason, right? So Okay, well, well, well. Okay, so that card does basically nothing. I got lucky there. Oh, you, yeah. <laughs> you were lucky there. And we also have a raid on our hands. Uh, Bennett, welcome in. Welcome into the channel. Bennett's brought 23 people over from his channel to ours. And uh, we have a couple of people in. <laughs> Thank you very much for the raid. There's no alert right now because uh, we're playing a game with the designer on Tabletop Simulator. So I wanted to uh, focus on the game. And But thank you so much for the raid, Bennett. Uh, welcome in, welcome in, raiders. Um, let's see if I can uh, turn on the cams for just a second because it was giving me a little bit of a streaming problem earlier. Uh, I'm just going to try my cam on yes <laughs> here i am there. my name is raymond and uh, emil should be on hopefully i have turned it on now so is all it right. all right uh, i don't th i think it lost the capture because you turned it off uh, let's see if i can uh, reset uh, that okay. but uh, it's thinking it's thinking yeah i think i lost the um no, the, okay. Yeah. The the um, the dis the Discord capture. And we wanted to save the bandwidth, so <laughs> yeah, we wanted to save a little bit of bandwidth there. No. But yeah. uh, anyway, welcome in Raiders. Uh, my name is Raymond. Uh, I'm here today with uh, Emil Larson, uh, who you can hear on the mic <laughs> for now, and we're playing yeah. Rogue Angels, a Burning Suns legacy game, Legacy of the Burning Suns, and it is a cooperative. Um, sci-fi kind of like a dungeon crawler where we have to do all kinds of cool missions uh, with our characters we're playing a two character game right now and uh, we've just uh, finished one part of this mission where we had to hack a console to get information and now uh, guards have shown up and we already took out a couple of guards and they're now giving chase they they want us dead so we have to get out of here within our time limit gets to the hangar and escape so uh, that's what's going on here so welcome in everybody uh welcome in uh Patate Rouge. <laughs> that board game looks so amazing yes it is isn't it i, I also love <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> i love how it looks and welcome in draconic dude and chill ray and uh refraction and jabu uh, presto was already here so uh, yeah, let's uh, continue with uh, the game. I'll turn off my webcam again so we can focus on the game itself. And it does look awesome. It has fantastic art. Um, you can see here, this is, for example, my character board here. Look at that artwork. And I've got some uh, abilities on it and some tokens on it. And I have my cards. Most of this is still uh, prototype. So these uh, cards are still placeholders. Uh, you'll get some really cool art on them when it's uh, finalized. And uh, Patat Rouge, I am from the Netherlands. I do speak a few words French, though. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, so now we have to decide. This is the start of the next paragraph, basically, in this mission. So uh, the next chapter, and we have to decide what happens. So the enemy already took their turn yeah. because o only uh, only the first enemy right yeah so we still need to <laughs> do the second one interrupt but oh, uh, exactly only yeah. the first enemy moved <laughs> so the second one he would also go towards nearest player and uh one two three, three hit you for two oh, no. and <laughs> i have no more shields <laughs> i have no more shields so i'll I have to, to take... go and pick a cyborg at oh. some point yeah I exactly see. so i'll take uh, oh that's the entire deck i need two cards one, two. All right, let's uh, flip over the first card. Uh, let's see what that is. It's another open wound. Oh no! Well, it's it's less. It's not as bad as a severe open wound, I guess. It's placed in spot three, and when drawn, lose one shield. Well, I don't have any shields anymore, and place this guard on spot three. So that means that this card on spot three now returns to my hand. Correct. Yeah. That's that's at least a little bit of a plus. So I put it that is, here. yeah. <laughs> now I take this one. Uh, this card says, 
Uh, let's take a look. Come on, flip over the card. Oh, flip. There we go. This is a minor shock. When drawn, place this card on spot number one. Well, at least I get that card back as well. <laughs> so I'll take that card back into my hand. And uh, now I've got three wounds the, on. The shock cards are severe uh, in their own way because if you play on hard, yeah, like we uh, kind of, you know, oh, yeah. decided, right? All actions have minus one die. Oh, so that right. can make you. That's very, very. That's bad. It, yeah, it's that is difficult. Bad. That's why it's called hard, of course. So. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So this does have that ongoing effect that my actions have mm. a minus one die. This one does not have an ongoing effect, and this one also does not have an ongoing effect. So at least that's good, because this one will be gone after my next turn, fortunately. Yeah. But yeah, like like Emil said, there's also an insane mode, and that makes it even harder, because that if, if we were playing on insane, and we're playing on hard right now, then we'd move one of the damage cards one spot to the right, which would mean the most right one, because this one is locked in. And this one would move to the right <laughs> as well. So it, yeah. that would stay and take up a spot on my action uh, cooldown track. So that would not be very uh, good either. But anyway, those were uh, the damages I took. And uh, Raspidu, thank you very much for the follow. And Nostalgic Rhino, thank you for the hydrate. I will take a sip and cheers to you, my friend. All right, so that was... Both no, of the enemies turn. Just the enemies. Yeah. So now we can decide which one of us goes first. <laughs> well, that's a that's probably a no decision here. Exactly. Right? Because yeah. you will be dead if uh, you don't get out of there. <laughs> exactly. I really want to... So, yeah, when does a character die? If I fill up all four spots yeah. of... Uh... Um, if... Uh, actually, you could... You could oh, not die, but you could become unconscious... If you uh, if you cannot place a damage card, so technically, uh -huh. if you got a four damage card, you had to put in slot four, and mm -hmm. then you got another four damage card right after, you would be unconscious, right? Because you cannot put the second four card, right? Where would you put that? So then you would just discard that card, but you would have to be, you know, out of the sequence until somebody comes and heals you which oh. everyone can heal an unconscious character so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i would have to jump by and and try to pick you up right okay so. yeah so i better make let's the hope best. It, it doesn't get to that point no exactly then. well th let's take a look at these guys these guys have one shield and four health that's quite a lot of health though um let's see i'm kind of wondering if i should just run away and try to kite them towards one yeah. of those barrels <laughs> because let's see if i attack them right on I, which i could do with my katana slashers um i deal two damage to two adjacent enemies but that is still just two damage unless i uh, discard my red token i still have a red token and that would add a plus one to the attack uh, because that's what the red part on the card says um so i could do that and then try to run away perhaps with a with a basic action um but you have no die roll so that would be a very slow run. oh that's correct because this ongoing action still says um yeah. minus one die so i could rest first and get rid of it mm. and then yeah. attack and hope that i roll <laughs> movement but they 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 would still catch up with me. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. Hmm. You're in a bit of a tough spot here. I am. I am. I'm. Um... Well, I need to get rid of this damage. I need to get rid of that minus one die because that's really bad. So I'm gonna rest first. That means all the cars on my cooldown track. Uh, move to the left. So this one is discarded, and that's good because I that was a bad card to have. And these two just move to the left. They have no ongoing effects. So that was my first action already. Sadly, um, then I will try to damage them, and I will play this card, uh, the uh, katana slashes in spot three. And this is spot three, so that's fine. Um, oh, it's not. On the table. There we go. 
I now I get to roll a die. So I can take one of the dice and roll it. Let's go. Ah, I get a shield. Do I want the shield? Yes, I actually do. I want the shield. Take the shield. Mm -hmm. And then I deal two damage to two adjacent enemies. And I wish I wish I could have played my um yeah, your disruption suit. My disruption suit over here, because that would reduce the enemy's shields. But uh, yeah, sadly, I deal two damage, so one goes into the shield and one is on. So they both oh, have three. Just hit uh, what about using your? Um, exactly. I'm know. gonna I'm gonna discard this red token, so that I deal three damage instead of two, yeah. and that goes for both of them, I guess. Yeah. So that's great. Yeah. <laughs> I slash them extra hard. So, those were my two actions. Then I get a free rest action. This one moves to the left and gets discarded. Finally getting rid of some wounds. So, I, you know, I got a shield and I'm getting healthy again. I regenerate. <laughs> so, uh, all yeah. Good. It's all good. <laughs> that's, that's better. I'll get new wounds next time, but yeah. I flip my activation tokens, a token, and then we move the turn marker. Yep. So now it's the enemy's turn again. Oh boy, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, and there are no uh, yellow ones, so um, they will just take turns <laughs> eating you up. Yep, yep. Uh, so that would be, uh, you know, four damage. Um... Uh, well, I do have a shield. Yeah, so that would be three of them, yeah. So yeah, they both do two damage, so I take one shield. And I take three damage, so now I have to draw three cards. Yeah, yeah. Ouch. Ouch. I hope you get Ouch. some of those uh, scratches of uh, zero. Yeah, I hope so too. Oh. For minor yeah, laceration. Yeah. That's a zero. Yeah, yeah. One drawn, lose one concentration and one shield. Well, I can't use, lose nope. a shield, so this goes down and then discard this card. That's great. That's yeah. not too bad. Second <clears throat> one. You can always regain your focus. So. Yeah, exactly. Flip that over, and it is also a minor laceration. Oy. Same thing, same thing. Good, good, good. And we did shuffle, ladies and gentlemen, so don't yeah. worry. <laughs> we did shuffle. I'm just, uh, I, I mean, I had pretty bad cards before, so it was time for some luck here. And now I get shock again. Oh no, shock's bad. When drawn, place this garden spot number two. Well, at least I get my katanas back. That's, that's good. That's great. That's my best melee weapon. And it ha still has the ongoing action that I get a minus one die, so that's pretty bad. But at least I'm still alive. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Cool, yeah. Well, mission hasn't okay. changed yet, so it's your turn. Yeah. yeah, I will. I could probably do my BMS device first and then hopefully get enough movement of those three dice. I would need two movements to be within range to shoot somebody. I think I will go for that chance. Three dice. That's double movement. There's two move. Shield. I cannot use the shield for anything right now, mm -hmm. as I have not been beaten up. <laughs> I will move two spaces oh. here, and then I will use my scoped rifle nice. that has two dice. They do not affect the outcome of... Um, um, the damage it still deals three damage mm -hmm. to an enemy within three but now since i have a plus one it's within four squares ah. so that's why it's scoped of course yep now i will just shoot this guy in the face thank you <laughs> yeah, i i only do one shot kills as you can see yeah so. yeah nice yeah, that's how it is that's a heavy uh, one and i will <laughs> use use my two movement and move up here mm -hmm. just casually walking by you and then I will use, since this is the end of my turn, I will give you two movements and uh, a focus. So right. you just need to figure out where you want to walk. And Yes. You know. um, well, we need to go to the bay. So I guess we'll, I'll just move uh, away then. Um, yeah. I mean, I yep. guess that's the best thing to do. Make these guys move because he's behind a wall over there so he needs to move either left or right around the wall and that will you know buy us some time all right that was great that was an awesome turn <laughs> 
Uh, so you took both of your actions, right? You played the cards, you yeah. moved them to the yeah. left. Oh, and I will flip, flip this and go down to seven. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Okay, so there is only one guy. He yeah. is uh, now number six here, he, or number five. He's upgraded to the lowest initiative. Mm -hmm. And he will move one square towards the nearest player. And I am the nearest player, or he will not move one square, but he will move towards the nearest player. Yep. And he only has to move one to get to me. So, yes. and here you could think, well, should he move here or here? But since they always go for the nearest option, the fastest option, okay. so that would be moving one. Okay. Because uh, what is called like straight lines are shorter than diagonal lines. Exactly. Yeah. So the enemy always interprets straight as shorter than diagonal. So mm -hmm. whenever they have to move or whenever they have to choose a target, you can differentiate uh, in that way. Okay, good. So he will just move one square. That's mm -hmm. what he, he needs to be able to hit me for two. And I will take those on my shield. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah, you still add your shield. We can, yeah, we can, yeah, we can flip flip, uh, flip back and. Yep. All right. Well, um, <laughs> let's see. Next time this guy moves, he can move three spots. Um, well, I still, I now have all my cards, right? So I could later use my. Let's see how many he's got. Two health left. I'm debating if I can use my, my rifle to shoot him from a distance um, since your card is still in cooldown. Uh, deal one damage to an enemy, but I can upgrade that one. And I don't have a red token anymore, but I can you know get a plus one, perhaps. Still has a shield. But the thing is, we just need to get out, right? We just need to mm. get to the hangar bay. Let's see. Um, yeah, and st stay uh, stay uh, conscious. Yes. Ah, but we do we have to wait until the uh, turn token reaches zero? Yeah, uh, oh. that is a thing where I would write, uh, and that's some of those things that sometimes happen, of course. But uh, if there are no more enemies, there's not any, you know, reason to uh, to prolong it as long as you are in the hangar because that is if you're not in the hangar mm -hmm. or if you are unconscious then you will get a scar at the end of the mission because right. you have not reached the goal right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so if we get to the hangar and we kill everyone then you know by all means that's fine uh, but of course we still have those guys that will spawn yeah. on turn <laughs> five so exactly. okay yeah. yeah so we just need to uh either stay alive and hold them off or or kill them. yeah <laughs> All right. Um, well, you know what? You go first this time. Take take your turn. Yeah. Okay. Maybe Let you can punch the guy or something and then run. Yeah. Or, or not. Or I'm just run. I'm thinking something along those lines. So I would probably first punch him for a just a basic uh, attack and. Let's see here. Oh, plus two. Plus two. Nice. That's good. I'm perform. Oh, he's actually dead. Then he has two health and one and shield. One shield. So it's. So three. I deal three <laughs> damage to him, and he's dead. That's how I punch. That's how you roll. So <laughs> nice. All, all good. All good. I will play my power armor instead of a basic move. Mm -hmm. It yeah. gives me two dice, two dice. So maybe some movement. Yay. There are two movement two there. Movement. So that's Look not at bad. That. That's great. One, two, and this one then allows me to, if I'm dealt damage, that I will gain one focus and move one square. So I'm allowed to do that if I'm dealt damage. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, this yeah. yeah, this still stays as an active uh, effect. Yeah, this yes. one, just like this one, is, uh, you know... Nice. Um, eff effect cards, right? Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. yep. Which is um, nice, and but also sometimes a problem because you need them down there to take effect, which... Yep. It's not always where you have abilities. Yeah, exactly. So we are down to turn six and there are no enemies right now, so yep. we can get ourselves into position. Yes. Alright. Oh, so that means I will just play a basic movement card, which allows me to roll a die, which I will do. Um yeah, except, oh, except? Of course, for your Oh, shot. it's that one. I have that one, yep, exactly. 
I had that. Yeah, I, I thought it was still with the two lacerations, but that was gone already. Yeah. So I don't get an extra die, but I get to move one spot. Uh, yeah. Oh well, I'll just move there. Um. And I the guess the disruption sh suit can will still give you bonus uh, and one die at least. So you know, for future. Uh, true. Well, it, it, yeah, it, that's true. And I have a plus two to all, so I should have done that first, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will, you I will live still... and you learn, or maybe you die trying, and that's also fine. <laughs> but maybe I can just hold on to the disruption suit until I need it, because right now mm. I'm actually fine. Yeah. Uh, I'll just play another basic action, just two movements. You know, I'll, I'm just going to move again. I'm just going to... Oh, that's too far. I need to be here. So just two basic movements, because this has a cooldown of zero, it comes back to my hand, and then technically I play it again, and it goes back to my hand. Then, at the end of my turn, I get a free rest action. This card goes away, and this card moves to the left. And yep. then I flip my token, oh, flip. and then we move this onto the alarm spot yep. here. Yeah, so reinforcement when the turn token reaches five, spawn two enforcers in area R7 and R8. So we need to put R7 and R8. Mm -hmm. Those two guys, enforcers here. Yep. And if we were so, more players, we'd also get them in yellow seven and yeah, yellow eight. Then they would, yeah, yeah, they would also flank us from the other side. So. Yes. Yeah. All right. And since that happened during the mission update or trigger, yep. we <laughs> are now in enemy turn. Enemy turn again. Yep. Exactly. So they yeah. get to move so right away. So with an advancing attack. So yeah, they get to move, and ah, uh, he shoots me from where he is. This yellow guy here, because he moves towards nearest player, but he has a range of six. So he will just. You know, sniper guy, yeah. Deliver oh, his wow. shot That's there. That's a huge range, yeah. And a movement of four. Yeah. But the, they don't have shield, but also a lot of uh, a lot of health. Oh, well, yeah, health and, and movement, and yeah, and they deal one damage, but it's unblockable, so, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. yay Boy. me. I will take a damage card here. <laughs> yeah. So, Spot of course, three. the good thing is when I was still damaged, I will also gain a focus and a, be allowed to move That's one. That's true. So. That's true. Move an action card one slot to the right. Okay, okay that best. can only be this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then place it on three. So that's actually good, because so this will stay in play That longer. is good, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this one stays on, and I took a... So I will get a focus, and I will just move a bit closer to the hangar, I guess. Yep. <laughs> Would be nice. Yeah. All right. And let's see the other guy. He moves towards the nearest and he shoots. Well, maybe I just moved up into his range. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, that's my own fault, I guess. But he shoots me from where he is. So mm. they're having a good time, I yeah. guess. <laughs> um, oh, no. Okay. It's a laceration. Okay, lose one shield. Yep. That's just great. Uh, place this on number one. Oops. I get my scoped rifle back mm -hmm. and I move it. Yeah, so oh, yeah. There. No ongoing effects. No ongoing. So, yeah. Awesome. <clears throat> enemies, oh yeah, enemies took their turn. We, we refresh yeah. our tokens so we yeah. can go again. All right. Um, yeah. So, if we need to take these guys out. Um, well, I'm, I'm pretty much out of range. So, if you go first then they go after you and they'll probably move closer unless they stay there if they're in range right no they they always move don't they 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 only move if they are outside of range ah right so uh, the movement uh, behavior or the movement uh, the whole priority of movement is to get within range of the movement target uh, so here nearest player and if they already are they will just perform their action mm. and within range so in, yeah in this case, with these guys, they will just shoot at me again if, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. 
<clears throat> well, oh, and of course I got one damage, so I'm actually allowed to gain another focus and move again. So I can move into... I was shot twice, right? So I can yeah, move in yeah. behind the wall Ooh, here, ah, so now at exactly. least they will have to move uh, yes, before they can... Yes. There is a wall. <clears throat> is good. So that means they will have to move. And yeah. we could try to lure them towards this barrel, and I can try to yeah. shoot it so it explodes and yeah. deals a lot of damage. All right. Yeah. Well, perfect. So, um, let's see. I'll, I'll let you go first, then. Uh, yeah. Unless, let's see I mean, here. Hmm. can uh, you somehow, can you do, let, let me ask first if you, if you have the option to do something <laughs> that, that's, you know, yeah, helpful. Let me see. I actually think it might be better that you go first, okay. so you can position yourself. Okay. Because then they will move, and then I could jump out and shoot the barrel, I All right. think. All right, yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, because I'm closer to the barrel, so I can probably shoot it anyways when they have moved. So if you go first, I would. Okay, okay. That would be... And yeah. I just need to position myself. So and they move uh, four spots, so w until they are within range of me, well, probably. Yeah. And they have a range of uh, six, so that means one, two, three, four, five, six. They just basically they just need to move outside of the room, or even into the doorway, because that's also one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So they'll both just move one spot to the northeast, yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Um. That means only one of them will be in range of the barrel so actually i need to move inside because we want these two guys to be within range of the barrel explosion which means mm, yeah. on, on the gray area the gray corridor they need to be outside of the room yeah okay then i technically i only need to move one spot inside uh, because if I move here, I'll just put it here to indicate, I could... S yeah, then you can also shoot the barrel. Yes, there, I can yeah. still snipe yeah. the barrel because the yeah. door, the, the line would cross this side of the yeah. door and that would still be line of sight. So, mm. I'm, I'm, since I only need to do that, I'm going to rest first and get rid of this card. <clears throat> that wound. So that's gone. That was my rest action. And then I will play the basic move card which immediately comes back to my hand and just move there you and definitely that. want to roll that die for oh yes because yes this for, does give me for the shield for the shield perhaps <laughs> yes indeed yeah let's take a die oh, oh <clears throat> not f i need to press r and i get a shield hey lucky me that's how it is <laughs> cool all right okay uh, we move the turn token. And they have their go at the nearest one first. So I will be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five. So they will go towards one, two, three, oh, four. No. Oh, oh hi. Can, there's a door there too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Our error. So, and then he delivers a. Uh, and this is, uh, of course, a bit dicey because he goes mm. for same or nearest player right and since same is overrules nearest mm -hmm. in this uh, case okay um, so he will shoot at me mm -hmm. of course so i take a one oh three and then it goes up to this one here ouch eternal bleeding here yeah okay and then he also shoots at the second nearest player which happens to be you yeah. within oh, range in the, yeah uh, yeah <laughs> So you, I do still have a shield. You can take yeah, here. Here's a card. You can. <laughs> oh, it, it ignores shields. Yeah, the, the damage ignores shields. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. It is a minor fracture when drawn places on spot number one. And ongoing movement uh, cards, it's hmm. cards only, not the dice, right? So just the movement cards. No. Have yeah. a minus one range of movement. Okay. Yeah. Okay, just slows me down. So if you're cool. using your basic move, you start with zero and yeah. you have to roll to get something. All right, all yeah. right, all right. Okay, and okay. the other guy, he, he moves 
Yeah, the same way. One, two, and let's see here. One, two. Yeah, because this is straight. So he will go one, two, three, four. But he cannot see or hit, let's see, if, if, uh, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, you have to to take a damage there. You're six away from him. One, two, three, four, yeah. five, six. He has a range of six and can reach you through the door. Okay. And yeah. um, he goes for same or nearest. And since um, I'm not, yeah, uh, not within line you know, of sight. Yep. Yeah. So he will go for the nearest he can see, and that would be you. Yep. So I take one <clears throat> damage card. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Challenging mission. Minor concussion. It's also a one though. When drawn, lose one concentration. Okay. One focus and place this guard on spot number one. What happens then? Does this just moves to the right then? The the other one. Sorry, sorry. Uh, you which one did you get? Uh, the that one? minor concussion. Yes. Yeah. So you have lose one uh, focus. I did. I did. Yeah. Already. That you cannot. Oh, okay. Yeah. You already have, and then place this on two. Oh, because, because this you is want taken. To place it on one, right? But it's uh, oh. taken, so that would be two for you. And ongoing, I cannot utilize rerolls. Oh yes, obviously with a concussion. I cannot focus yeah. or concentrate. So, no, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I love That's how, how thematic yeah. it all is. I just love it. I have that. tried to. I'm yes. not a doctor, but I've tried to. Make, <laughs> you know, that's also why the fracture yep, yep. is the one that uh, limits it Slows me. you down. Just, exactly, yeah. That's, yeah. I love that. I love that. <laughs> okay. Well, this is just, um, you know, I mean, we, yeah, we have four turns left, so we just need to stay alive. Yep. That's basically <laughs> um, what we do. Okay, I I need to take my turn. I yes. think I will I will just have to rest. I mean, I could also just try to punch him, but yeah, uh, given your two wounds. times punch, is that really going to? I mean, you do have the gun on your hand, don't you? Yeah, I think I will I will rest one time <laughs> okay. to free up some. Get rid of that. Yeah, good. Yeah. And then let's see here, because I don't gain, gain shield, that doesn't yeah. matter really. If it is, is my second action, mm -hmm. I... Close combat pistol. Uh, I deal two unblockable damage. Mm -hmm. So I will just deal those two. Should I? No. Can you so... explain that for a second? Because the card yeah. says you deal one unblockable damage to an enemy within yeah. three. That's what you did. Uh, oh, yeah. if it's your second action, you deal yeah. two instead. I haven't done that yet. Yeah, so that's exactly. two damage. Okay. So right. it has to be played as the, as the second one to deal mm -hmm. that. I have a die, and I rolled a plus one, which I cannot use for anything. No. I'm not really sure I should um, move, per se, here. Mm -hmm. um, you could re-roll it. Just... Uh, can you... Yeah. So you could re-roll for a shield, perhaps. Yeah, but the shield, since they are unblockable, these damages... Oh, doesn't yes, really, these snipers have yeah. unblockable damage, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> no. Okay. So, yeah, that would be uh, my turn. Okay. Uh, these flip the right. one down, and mm -hmm. I could move you because you were within line of sight, and before my rest action, I, uh, I have this one here, so if you need a focus, you do, and then you can move up to two. Move an ally two squares and gain one focus. So you can do okay. that because I just oh. had this card before I rested it away. So I can move up to two squares, right? Yeah. Uh, you can just hide over here in the back. Well, <laughs> I'm, th I'm still thinking of shooting that barrel, actually. But uh, yeah, and you move the token yeah. for one. Uh, I have a range of <clears throat> five, one, two, three, four. So if I want to shoot it, I, I basically just need to stay where I am. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Uh, the barrel, I, I keep forgetting the barrel does. Let me one damage that. and f uh, has one heal, health and four does damage. four damage. So you. And I have five. Ooh, hmm. Okay. Hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it would help. So, yeah. all right. Um, I, I, I'll probably just stay where I am. I'll stay put. Yeah. Not move. Uh, then on my turn, I will use my scope, which I have to put in spot three because uh, this spot is taken. I cannot use rerolls and movement cards are minus one, but that's okay. 
Uh, I don't have any red tokens left. I already used that. But I only need to do one damage to the barrel anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, all good. All yeah, good. I just deal one damage to yeah. an enemy or object and... within five spots. Oh, sorry. They need to. Sorry. Uh, they need to go first, actually. Oh, they did. Oh, because they yeah, hadn't taken I just turn. finished my turn. True. So. Well, just wait. So, yeah. therefore, they okay. deal this guy here. He deals one damage to me because he sucks. And then <laughs> I get my. My this one back, mm -hmm. yeah. Or was move one that I could not do, and then you get a damage card. So oh, you oh. enjoy that one. Okay, I'll just put this one back in my hand. Just then. in case. Yeah. Don't jinx it. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. it's a zero. Well, Yay. That's actually pretty good because you move your damage card, but then you can slot in your jamming rifle there. Oh, right, yeah, because I need to move a oh, damage card true. one spot to the right. Well, this yep. one can't move to the right, so I move this one to the right. Yep. This one goes away. And that's good, yeah, actually, you could put the rifle there. And the <laughs> second guy, he <laughs> moves <laughs> one. Of course And he, does. he gets within, but he just shoots at me, so, you know. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, my. Yeah, okay. I mean, he's still within the blast radius, right? Because there's a door there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So it's, it's he, just, there's a door. It's so just this guy, which you're... is shielded by the wall. So uh, nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm. <laughs> oh, this is. <laughs> Wait. Okay, but uh, then we have our. Our. We can flip our tokens back. I, yes. I think you should just take your shot. I'm gonna take away. my shot. Get... I'm gonna take the shot. Yeah. Oh, come on! Drag the card. Onto the table. All right, I okay. do get to roll a die, I believe. Yeah. Yes, there's nothing stopping me from do doing that. Do that, do that for sure. So roll the die. There we go. Boom. Ah, a plus one. I don't need a plus one. Nope. I uh, think you could move closer here after. Maybe you can do something cool. Oh, that's true because I do. Let's see. I can. Um. Poo -poo -poo, jump mm -hmm. with the legs. For two, so I could add a one. I can jump for three. Let's mm. see. Uh, does, is that enough? One, two, three. That's not enough for adjacent. No, no. That's not adjacent. Yeah, it's not going to to be a big thing now. We only have three turns left, and yeah, actually, I mean, yeah. turns after you've taken you. So I think you should just try to heal yourself as much as possible <laughs> to <Yeah>. stay. You know. <laughs> I, I have a feeling that I'm. You might want to just move closer to me. Just do that because if you need to heal me on the last turn or something, that would be nice. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that guy took damage. He's down to one health then. Yeah. Um. All right. So my second action. So you want me to move closer? Yeah. That would be nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you of course, you have a bit of a uh, with the the cards, right? But uh, you know, just skip closer. Yeah. Okay, I don't need the disruption suit. Then I'll just do the basic action mm. to move, and I can already add a plus one from from this uh, from this roll. But I also get to roll a die from this card, right? So that I, that can be added as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You good. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, it's shield. They would already have moved one from this. Uh, yeah, this exactly. One. So you, it's, you it's one from the card. Yeah, that one from is the... already completed. Plus then... one. I'm I'm gonna spend concentrate. Do I need to be even closer? No, I don't, because uh, I can use the legs to jump and deal damage on the next turn. So I'll I'll take the shield, even though it doesn't really yeah. matter because they. Uh, it's just more like how they, how, yeah, okay. They have so uh, you take your turn. Yeah. That, that was your turn. Yeah, and then this goes back into my hand. Oh. And we'll see what happens. And I, everything moves to the left, so this card is yep. gone. All right. We are running out of damage cards. We have to reshuffle soon. Okay, so. oh, that's not good. <laughs> anyway, this is going... I actually... Okay. I, I actually completely missed... My Assassin's Doctrine, all the game, that whenever I destroy an enemy, I get a focus. Yeah, but I think actually those times when you killed somebody, you already had... Oh, focus. that's true. That wasn't the beginning. Because you the only game. started using it here in the end. Uh, yeah, true. Okay, so, yeah, that's that's what happens. Oh. Is that I draw a card here? 
yep. and I'm unconscious. So because you um, can't place it, and now you're unconscious. Yeah. Oh no! So I cannot take my turn. I'm basically just, um, you know, <laughs> upside filling down. a spot <laughs> on the, and then the guy shoots at you. So you um, have to take a damage con. All right. Oh boy, this is uh, <laughs> nail biting. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. <laughs> Okay. Oh no! <laughs> That's not good. Severe oh, internal I... bleeding. Uh, I could have used the healer by now. Ouch. But there's. That's, well, that's not your character or my character per se. So. Well, that's just it, right? Well, that's all it does, basically. It takes up the slot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And then the other guy who would shoot at Nears, but I'm lying down. Yeah, so yeah. he's like, well, Shoots I will shoot Nears. at the valid target, which is you. <laughs> so, um, you can take another one. <sighs> oh boy. Please, please oh, but zero. you have to. Did you move this down to two? No, I think you. I have not. You I have not moved it. Two, it. No. Right? no, sorry. Yeah. We have two turns left. Or you Another have. <laughs> severe laceration. I I lose oh, a my. shield. <laughs> okay. And I place it on spot two, which I can't. So I place it on spot three. At least I can still place it, and that's that. Yeah. So you have to flip your token and continue. Um, you know, I cannot take my turn. I am temporarily out of the game all right so now we both refresh and okay yeah like you you just have to continue right like if you were only one character so you uh, what you can do is that you can move towards me with your basic move because i'm standing only one yeah. square away from you right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you can use your basic interact because when you read that it says uh the, the last part says heal an adjacent unconscious character for one all right and then you can roll, so you could potentially heal me for more, right? All right. If yes. you are allowed to use dice, you cannot re-roll, but you're allowed to use dice. So yeah. Right, right, right. So, and... I would I would appreciate uh, you moving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> to. Yeah, because. Out a bit. Yeah, because even, just hypothetically, if I were mm. able to take out both of these guys right now on my turn. Yeah. Then the timer would move one to the right. Then you could, yeah. could not take your turn because you're unconscious. That means you, you have to take your next turn, but then you would have to heal me for the uh, last... Oh, action. so I get right. your turn, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So if you are unconscious, uh, you mm. basically skip your turn and the timer yeah. does not move. Yeah. No, oh, no. That's good to know. That's good to know. Because otherwise we'd, we would yeah. be at zero and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. that would be it. You okay. cannot perform your turn, so therefore, you know, you basically just have to continue until somebody yeah, yeah. picks you up. He's on three, and the other one is at one. Let's see. Um, the jumping deals three damage, and they have... Oh, they have a shield? No, they have no shields. So if I... But you would have, you would have to get out here to do that, right? You would have to jump over here in order to be adjacent to that guy. Oh, because, because the I'm red... standing right... Oh. I'm lying here. Because you're the not, red you're spots... You're not allowed to jump on me. Yeah, I was thinking of jumping on the ship, but I can't. <laughs> no. no. Oh, wow. That's, that's unfortunate. I thought I'd jump it's there, bit, uh, take them both yeah. out in one fell swoop and save the day. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see. Two... Oh, boy. <laughs> Well, yeah, it was actually not good that I did not move or position myself over here or something. So yeah, I exactly. Could have, no, yeah. <laughs> I could have jumped fast. But, yeah. Mm. So, yeah, that is really the only spot. That's one, two, three, four spots away. And I can only jump yeah. for two. Uh, so if I would were to pull that off, to in order to pull that off, I would need to roll a plus two. And I don't have yeah, any dice no, to roll on that. There are no dice, no, no. Ah. That's very simple. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I have no choice then. Um, I'll uh, use my try to heal me. basic move action. I'll roll one die. Yeah, I'll see how that goes. Oh boy. Uh, I do get a plus one, so I can move two. Oh, I just wait. Is that no? I should I re-roll it? Oh, sorry. Is there? I why mean, should you re-roll it? I can all yeah because I can't really use this, can I? Um, for the movement, you can gain your shield, of course. Uh, or oh wait, ah, oh, I should have used the um, the basic interact. Or, or or can I use that plus one for the basic interact? No, I can't because I uh, haven't played it yet. 
not for the um, like I mean did you used your um, you used your basic, basic move, move right that's where you rolled it right yes so the die can only be attached to yeah. the card that is stormed. yeah, yeah. All so right. you would have to roll again for the basic interact yeah all right so that goes back into my hand and I play the basic interact yep I roll again let's hope for a plus two come on yes Yes, I can uh, now heal oh. you for yeah. plus three. So yeah, that, three great. of my cards. So I would just nonchalantly take away three of my cards. <laughs> All right, you can choose which ones you take away. Yeah. Oh, fantastic! Okay. Oh, I'm such a good healer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I am Doctor so. Sijin. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right, so those were my two actions. This goes back to my that hand. That was pretty crazy. It was. To get the bust in the and this moves to the left, so this oh, also goes back into my hand. All right. And we are down to one turn. Oh, and of course they will take their turn, so they will just shoot me up again because yeah, they like that. They like that. <laughs> uh, hmm. Oh, no. Okay. But now you have spots, so you know. One, so that would be there, and then mm -hmm. they, sh that guy, the first guy, he also shoots you. Wait, 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 wait! Will you draw this? Yep. Oh, you sorry. Move one yeah, card yeah. to the right, sorry. so I that goes there, move. and that goes yeah. there. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> sorry, that is correct. And then it's your turn to draw, Amish Khan. I also get one. Okay. Yeah. They really share the presence. Yep. I get a fracture again on my leg. Oh, wow. Ouch. Just yeah. healed my fracture. Same leg. It's a weak leg now. Yeah. And uh, when drawn, place this on spot two, uh, which I cannot do, so I move it on spot four. Yeah. And, yeah, and I'm luckily, good. I'm the one taking the last damage from them because uh, that is Another the guy damage? behind. Yeah, from the the first guy shoots two times. Oh, two That's times, quite, yes. Yeah, yeah. The same and the second. And the second oh, guy, yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah. shoots only one time, and that would be at Another the nearest. Fact. They so shoot for the legs. Here. Ouch! Yeah. It's, a, it's an open yeah. fracture. Place on card yeah, three, pretty and you can yeah begin with the yeah. movement. Yep. So I just got up, and you know I will just have to take a cripple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, let's see here. Let's see. I would really like to just shoot them both now because I'm like <laughs> a little bit pissed. <laughs> no, yep, yep. I will do Kill my. Him. Oh, nice. Yeah. The big gun. Three damage to and the guy just in front of me. I yeah. know that. Because that one so has three. Die. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I will spend a focus. I will spend another focus. What are you trying to get? I will spend another focus. I want to get a uh, a movement point. I will spend the last oh focus my to take the die. Different die. <laughs> Two movements. Yeah. Hey, so I die. shoot him. Yep. And then I move closer yep. to that guy. And oh. then I punch him in oh. the face with my nice. basic interact. Because I'm oh. not tolerating all this abusement. <laughs> so. Nice. That's just all we needed. <laughs> yeah. And I roll a die for that and get a shield. But Yay. It doesn't matter. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Ooh. Oops. We made it. It's now turn zero because that oh, was I don't gain team, after your turn. And that was your turn. Flip that over. Yeah. Whew. That well, was, that course, was if, very Even if, if um, it had gone to zero, I mean, the enemies would not have had their turn, right? Because we have a mission update before the, exactly. uh, the mission. And we just so need it's to not be like here. We're not a danger anymore, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, that's still very satisfying to, to kill them. Nice. Oh, wow. Sweeping the leg they learned from Cobra Kai, says Shillery. And thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> yep, indeed. So, yes, we managed to survive when uh, the, the timer went yeah. to zero. We Ooh. even took out all the enemies. That was pretty cool. And we're in the hangar, as we needed to be. So that's great. So we actually have a success. And next time we play, we would move on to uh, C3 mission update yeah, to you still have the eight. aftermath so yeah. you would still finish the mission off by just going to the c3 mission update yep. 2a all right so you can see here oh sorry that would be mission update 2a here so you can see here mm -hmm. this is where the mission finishes because after that 
then you have a new mission because it's uh, this is the aftermath, so that is the the end of the mission. Where sometimes there is a few elements you have to check. Yeah. Right. So here, for example, there is a question of our performance. You can see here. Oh, let me just zoom in on that. Yes. So, question: Did the team blow up all the fuel barrels? <laughs> no, we did not. And then, yes, you have to uh, mark something in uh, on your character sheet so uh, yeah so if you blew yeah. them all up the hellfires get extremely angry and you had two yeah. of those marks and we didn't so uh, it's just one of those marks you can and... see here yeah exactly yes. then you would uh, you would paint this mark here yes for your character uh, and i would do the same so we are now not so much in favor uh, with, with the hellfires, hellfires. <laughs> exactly yeah um, which is obvious yeah so yeah so yeah, this so, sheet we that we're seeing here is also a placeholder, of course, but yeah. that will be uh, basically how your character develops. You have relations with different factions and different characters and NPCs, and they can either go good or bad, and there's all kinds mm. of stuff that you're going to fill in here, and that mm. is also going to change the way the missions go, because NPCs will react differently to you you will yeah. have choices in the in the book and depending mm. on your status with those factions you will have to go you know one way or the other through the story so yeah. that's even more of a branching story right there so that is awesome it's just really 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 cool Thank all you. right well emil uh we're gonna have to uh, yeah. stop it there we've uh, we're yeah. 40 we, minutes over we time are. Even. <laughs> yeah but it it's... was uh, really awesome, but it was just very nice to get the mission yes. actually finished. Uh, yeah, and it worked out just <laughs> barely. <laughs> Emil, can you try Pretty... to disconnect yes. and reconnect your camera? Because my Discord is not seeing your camera at the moment. I'd like to get you in the yeah. goodbye. I will just uh, call you again. All right, that's that's better even. <laughs> So yeah, everybody who's here, thank you so much. Uh, there you are. We can see you now. Thank you so much for having been here, for having watched the stream. Uh, also, thank you, Bennett, again, for, for the raid. And uh, I will share again the link uh, in the chat. Uh, right there it is. If you go to the Sunsu Games website, you can sign up for the newsletter and you will get information about the game and don't worry emil will not spam your mailbox you'll just get updates when there's no, news no, no. to share oh. and um then you can sign up and when the next and that is only those kind of news i don't do regular news so <laughs> okay that's good and then when the next kickstarter goes live later this year uh you will get a notification and of course we'll share it on the social media as well and then hopefully